Hello, it's Midnight Gamer here, and I am playing Championship Manager 2. And this has to be my most favourite football manager game of all time. Uh, this is going old school in this video. Uh, normally, you know, everybody's playing Football Manager 2015. I have that game, but uh, I'm having a little go on Championship Manager 2. Um, I am on my fourth season. And I am managing Dundee United, which is a team which I always manage because that's my actual team. And uh, we have won the league championship. And uh, so we are in the Champions League. And this is a league match against Motherwell coming up. And we're in the League Cup and everything like that. So we're going to go through the season. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good season and it'll be enjoyable. If otherwise, I might end up getting sacked, and that would be quite embarrassing uh, to show that on YouTube. So, uh, but here we go. Let's uh, have a look at the teams, uh, and I'll pick my team. So, I've already had a preliminary round in the Champions League um, against FC Croatia that I won on away goals. So, uh, this team is probably the best team to put out. Uh, I said with match tactics, I normally do five-three-two attacking. Um, so yeah, so actually concerning that they just got through uh, the Champions League preliminary round so I think I will actually just go for that against the Motherwell. So let's go and uh, start the match. Okay, so, right, yeah, Championship Manager 2, it may be a bit of a, an odd one for me playing but I really love this uh, game. Uh, it's going old school for me because this was released back in... What, 96, 95? I quite, can't quite remember. Uh, it must have been around about that time. Um, but I did get the game and when I got my first PC back in 1999. Um, so I have been playing the game for 16 years, which uh, seems quite incredible. Um, I love the game. I've got Football Manager 2015, as I said, but... You know, I, I love playing this game from now and again because it's a quick, quick short game. Maybe a season would be maybe a couple of hours, two and a half hours, up to three hours. Uh, Football Manager 2015, you know, you're looking for a season and you're getting about 13, 14, 15 hours, uh, which is quite a long time to be playing uh, the game. This is just a couple of hours, quick burst, a season here, a season there. And, uh, well, nil nil just now, it's not looking particularly that great. It looks like we're probably going to pick up a point. Last minute chance with a corner. Goal at 88 minutes. Oh, it could be disallowed, but let's find out. No, Christian Daly, 88 minutes, has scored the winner. It's turned out to be uh, Alan Studs' man of the match. So, well, that would have been a difficult match uh, to begin with. Uh, so that's good. That's the first three points for us. Uh, I was looking at the table. Um, you know, you've got uh, Celtic Rangers. The Rangers up top, they won 4-0. So on goal difference for fifth, but it's not any problem to begin with. And that's uh, an, a club record for the attendance. 12,606, there we go. Couple of players, few players being called up for national duty, which I don't particularly like because it's um, a chance for some players to be injured. Uh, sorry, Sergio Gomez, you're not getting a transfer. I need you in my team. Ah, they're delighted. Uh, the reason it's a pro profit of a million is that we got a million pounds for qualifying for the Champions League. Uh, so. Uh, it didn't make a massive pro, you know, it would have been uh, uh, more or less a loss, but here we go, I got manager of the month. Okay, now the Coca Cola League Cup. Done United against Clyde from Division 3. Again, since it's a Division 3 side, we should get through. I mean, it could be a time to play another player. I mean, here's the player's worth. I mean, Len, 6 million. Uh, have we got anybody there that's... No, I tell you what, I'll keep these players on since they're doing so well at this moment in time because I don't think there's any point in actually, you know, changing a team that's winning. And as I said, this should be quite straightforward. Sometimes the games are never straightforward, but, you know, this one should be at home against a third division team. OK, 
camera just kind of like looking saying come on man there we go at last 1-0 40 minutes took quite a while to get the breakthrough but as you see it was all possession was ours and Peter Thorne our prolific goal scorer has uh, opened the score and broken that deadlock so here we go we're in the second half Still holding that one in the lead. I mean, it's all our possession. Looking for the second goal to kill the game off. I mean, to be honest, the the one goal was probably enough to to finish the game because I don't think Clyde would ever come back into it. Um, but just looking for a second. Could this be the second and? Kill the game off? Nope. No, it looks like it might just stay 1 0 here. And the oh, <laughs> wow, that, that was that was an important they never got a penalty. The referee played on and then we instantly scored to make it 2 0. Now that was, that's more of a relief than anything because they could have equalised and um, that would have been rather embarrassing. But we're through to the uh, fourth round, uh, beating Clyde. So next obviously you get the draw. Uh, Dunfermline will play, don't you? So we've got an, an away tie, which is always dodgy. Again, Division 1 side, but, you know, I mean, we could have got, uh, well, actually there's only four Premier League teams. Well, we've got a good chance of winning this uh, this season. And it's uh, Durant back. So I'll just skip these. I don't generally, you know, look at these stats and everything, these results. Um, sometimes, you know, you, you can become the manager um, if the manager gets sacked. Depending on how successful you've been, uh, you can become your international manager as well, which sometimes is, is a good is a good thing. Sometimes it's bad if they're, they're not great, uh, the team isn't great. So, okay, here we go. We've got Wraith Rovers back on to club uh, business. Now, again, um, well, I wasn't exactly happy with the, the performance in the last match, I mean, but what do you do, eh? Uh, they're winning. As I said, we've won, two, three, four, five games. We've drew two, which was the preliminary round, uh, Champions League, but in the far for week five now. One on two now. I mean, what can you do? We only conceded one goal in five matches, so you're going... Just keep the keep it going until uh, they screw up. Really, no point in uh, breaking up a team that's winning. I've recently had um, the likes of Barcelona coming in for Christian Daly, um, for how much was it? I think it was eight million pounds they were coming in for Daly. Um, I've got um, I think a year and a half left on his contract or a season, possibly two. Yeah, I've, I think he's until the year 2000, so I've got him for another two seasons, so, but what I'll do uh, is probably six months from now, when the, the likes of Barcelona um, start, sort of, well, stop making bids for him, I'll offer him a contract and I should get him on for another five years, because he, he is a star player in this game. Um, which in real life, in the career, he, he became also, but never... Never played for the likes of Barcelona, but Christian Dale is a good player in this game, and he always starts on um, on a contract at United, and uh, teams always come in for him, and he's got a, like a, a release clause that if a bigger club come in for him, he can go. So you know what I do is when I start the game, I basically offer him a new contract straight away, or you you put him on loan, um, and then if anyone uh, comes in for him, well. They basically don't come in for him because he's on loan. 
uh, which is a good thing. And if they do, it's, uh, you just refuse. So that's how you get around it. That was a good one nil. Uh, presuming damn, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a bad one. Come on, now we've got a minute to go. Can we get the winner? Yes, we can. Wow, late action in this game. 2-1. Uh, yeah, full time. <laughs> well, that was uh, a relief. Get a 2-1 win there in the dying seconds of the game. Um, which sometimes helps. You know, sometimes you get it going for you, but a lot of times you get it against you. Uh, again, we're top of the league on second on goal difference. As Hibs haven't conceded any goals whatsoever. And yeah, okay, not too bad then. It's going quite well so far. Right, so um, I think it will be... What, what, what we got next time? Right, right, it's a Champions League match against Stour Bucharest. Now, also in our group, we have Barcelona and Paris. So, you know, it's... Uh, well, you know, I'm definitely Barcelona is probably going to qualify. Um, so, I'm not sure. We'll it's a dodgy one, dodgy group, but um, as I said, it's difficult. The team's winning. I don't really want to make any major changes. Um, I mean, Thorn, four appearances, three goals, two, two appearances, zero, one goal, so I wouldn't change him. Uh, but Guenio, which is, he's normally a really good striker, but he hasn't scored any goals. I mean, going to 35, maybe I should freshen up. The strike force was when now well he see now with him he was like a, a really good goal scorer uh, for the previous team. Now what we'll do? I tell you what, I'll keep, I'll I'll make sh I'll put um, Gomez on the bench now. Again in this game you're only allowed to f to have three foreign players in your squad. So one, two, three. That's fine. Okay, we'll go for that. Uh, we're at home against Stour Bucharest, so... Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult one. It's difficult to, to know what's going to happen in this game. We haven't lost any games, but sometimes you think your luck's going to run out. Oh, but there's a goal. Christian Daly again. That's a second of the season, I think, for him. Butchiguenio. I think that Butchiguenio has scored. I've seen his name flash up there. Yep, it is. Well, I'm glad I didn't take him off. I was going to um, replace him with a younger player for the European match. Um, but I thought I'd just leave the winning team, the, the winning formula. So, as I said, as long as we're keeping on winning the game like this, I'm not going to change anything. Tactics, the players, anything. So, you would, would you? So, um, so coming up for 2-0 at half-time. This is an absolutely fantastic start to the European campaign. Um, the previous season, and that's great, that's the third one. Who scored this one? Neil Lennon. Now, um, the previous season, I had Man United, Bayern Munich and Dymo Kiev in the Champions League group. And unfortunately, I missed out on qualification. Uh, Man United and Bayern Munich, which you'd probably expect to qualify, actually to qualify. But I did beat Bayern Munich at home and I drew, drew with them away from home. So it was a bit annoying because we got beat by Dymo Kiev. And if we'd only had just drawn with Dymo Kiev, we would have qualified for the quarterfinals. And there's a fourth going in. Very impressive uh, result this. The board will be delighted, I'd imagine. 4-0 uh, in the Champions League against Stour Bucharest. And I would imagine I would get the that the board are delighted. So we've been over seven hundred fifty thousand for three points, which is you always get. And the, and the board are saying it was a good result. So at least you get recognised for that for the results, because they don't have recognise you when you actually get beat. Well, this uh, Paris Saint Germain uh, beat Barcelona four one. Um, thankfully, we are top of the group uh, by one goal uh, on the goal difference, so that's not too bad. So I'm really pleased with that, that's uh, a really good uh, start to the European campaign, considering that it was a disappointment the previous season. Um, obviously in this game, 
again I'll keep the the same team uh, the team's winning um, obviously in this game the Champions League has only got the four teams and then straight after that it's the quarter final so obviously in this day and age it's uh, it's uh, changed a lot uh, and there's 1-0 23 minutes and Peter Thorne again and um, obviously we have the UEFA Cup and the Cup Winners Cup in this game as well and that's uh, it's disallowed yeah we have those two too obviously now it's Europa League um, but obviously it was really it was really good actually uh, playing the Cup Winners Cup and the UEFA Cup in this game concerned that they don't exist now um, but obviously I'd rather be in the Champions League but it, it's if you don't win the league and everything and you do end up in the UEFA Cup, it's quite refreshing to play the, the two-legged matches in each round. And uh, I've won the UEFA Cup quite a, good, a few times throughout the years. And To be honest, oh, it's won all. I've, I've won all European honours and uh, it, it's really good taking a club like Dun United from where they would normally be. Uh, and in this game, uh, they started off in the first division because of that season they started. We won the Scottish Cup back in 94, uh, beating Rangers 1-0. And then the following season, uh, as a goal, we unfortunately got relegated in real life, and uh, which was a tragedy. Um, so you unfortunately start off in the first division in this game. But uh, one, it's a good thing too because you get to build your team in an easier division and then you come up to the Premier League and then you, you, you do quite well instead of just starting the Premier League where it would be difficult. So you get to build your team going into the Premier League. So that's what I generally do. I play in the First Division then come up. And uh, there we go. That's a good 2-1-1. One, one. We're doing very well in the league. Better than I expected. And we finally go top league because Hibs got beat by Stranraer. 1-0. <laughs> So we've got a three-point lead now at the top there, with only three games though, so it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, at this stage, I'm sure we'll start a, a, some sort of downfall soon, probably starting here. Dunfermline away from home, it's... Uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to change it. Surprised I haven't had any injuries. Um, I've probably spoken too soon, um, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously in this, what well, used to be the Coca-Cola League Cup, um, when you win the League Cup, you do actually get a, a spot in the UEFA Cup, uh, as there's a goal, as you did in you know back back in that time. And obviously nowadays you, you you get nothing for winning the League Cup. You don't get into Europe at all, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, so obviously there was um, the League Cup was more of a more of a glamour tournament maybe going back to the day and age of, of, of this of this game when this was released. Now obviously it's not so um, but I, I still think the League Cup is a great tournament and if I tell you what if if you win it you're not going to be saying it's rubbish are you? It's only, everybody, it's only teams I've said it myself um, when you get knocked out you go ah well it's not that, not that great anyway is it? But if you win it you certainly aren't uh, saying that So we're one 0 up in the quarterfinals here. It's a little bit tight, I think. Um, I'm a, a little bit. Uh, I was. I feel a little bit of a tension there. Uh, and they've got the equaliser. Feeling a bit tense here. Oh, we're going into extra time. The game gets uh, completed on the day. You get extra time and penalties. Um, yeah, I feel it a little bit. This is the first time in the game that I felt a little bit uh, nervous. An away game in the League Cup, there we go, there's a goal. Away game in the League Cup is always dodgy in the quarterfinals. Uh, right, so we're in, going into the second half of extra time. We're 2 1 up. And uh, that's it. Uh, yep, through to the semi finals. Again, that's good, very good. And the board are pleased with that. Uh, okay, and let's see who we get in the semi-final draw. i seen Dundee got through. I would like Dundee, but who will we get? Kilmarnock. Not just because Dundee were Division 2 side, because they were Dundee. 
and I knocked him out the League Cup the previous season, so I, I like to keep on doing that to them. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to save the game. Okay, and uh, let's go. So we've got Dunny and Hibs. Again, um, we haven't... Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine matches undefeated. Um, so, you know, again, uh, I was thinking I was going to have changes of plenty to do, but um, I'm just a bit disappointed about Butteguenio. I mean, he scored in that game and he's got a good ratings. Three, so... Uh, but he's not scoring, and that's unusual for him. Again, Peter Thorne, again, he's our most prolific goal scorer. Uh, you know, the ratings are great, the, the scoring is great. Let's keep that team, and we're at home. Just waiting to see what the, the the Hibs have kind of got more of the possession. Oh no 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 no! Right, this is what happens in the game a lot. I haven't had any injuries this season, and it has actually surprised me. But straight away, as I said just before this match, I was saying how good uh, Peter Thorne was playing and his goal scoring record for us and ratings and then look the next match he gets injured and that's a prolific goal scorer um, that is very irritating and unfortunately in the game this happens a lot you, you, you can be you can be really good run and then it takes one injury and then your goal scorer is out and you stop go scoring goals and then you'll get beat in the, in the match and then you have a kind of, you know, you kind of, it's like a down spiral kind of thing going on where you start losing games and, you know, and I, I hope it doesn't happen on this one because it, it would really irritate me. Um, but if it does start to happen, you know, no, we've got a draw there. But, yeah, as I said, it's a bit disappointing that. Still, I think that's 10 matches undefeated, isn't it? Looks like it's Motherwell. Um... Well, we've got a game in hand there, but as I was saying, didn't we beat Motherwell? We'll be out for a couple of weeks. Damn. Again, it'll probably be through a European match, and you know, it's, it's so irritating. No, you're not getting a transfer. Well, they're delighted with, their, uh, p with my performance. So. Well, that's good, because I tell you what, if it, you start losing matches, they're going to be. Again, see, Peter Thorne's missing from the... Oh, anyway, I mean, the thing is, you've got um, Sergio Go Gomez. Uh, we'll just have to put him on. Uh, God, I've still got Eden Rush there, 36. Uh, it's just so typical, isn't it, that our goal scorer is out. Again, I was... Well, I suppose in a way you're looking at and saying... Look, we've got Barcelona at the new camp. It's a shame that's like our, our ten match unbeaten run is probably going to come to an end here. But um, damn, it is a bit annoying when you you get like a ten match unbeaten run. You you, you and then, ugh, well, as I say, let's see what happens then. Sometimes in 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 the past when I've played this game, I have actually beaten Barcelona in the new camp uh, when I least expected it. Uh, but in this one. Uh, as you can see, look at all the possession that Barcelona have got, and there's one nil. See that—that's the thing with the, with the game when you, you when you're a club like Dundee United, you know that uh, you're gonna hopefully not get thrashed. And and I tell you what, there there he is, Robbie uh, Robbie Fowler. Oh, we got a, a goal back. I I went to sign him last season, and I because he was on a free transfer from Liverpool, and I would have signed him. If Barcelona didn't come in for him, and it was it really annoyed me because I would have signed Robbie Fowler, and then look as I said, a se you know, a season later, at the round at the same time, look, he's scoring a couple of goals against us. Uh, well, you know, still in this, I thought well the floodgates were going to open there. Nine minutes, two 0 down. 
Well, uh, we'll see what happens. We're two one. We've got nothing to lose, have we? Uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, the thing about goal difference could be quite important. I, I could just play in it, an attacking formation, but uh, well, the game's probably lost now. Well, the thing is, you know, we we're always going to say we're, any team that comes up against Barcelona are probably going to lose. Anyway, especially at home. Uh, as I said, unfortunately, we're getting thrashed now. And really, is the, the goal difference is really getting, a, you know, obliterated right at this moment in time. So, you know, what can you do? I'm not playing defensive. I, I don't play defensive football. Well, there we go. There's our 10 match on beaten run. Come to an end. Thrashed by Barcelona. Is it going to be 5? No. 4 1. I mean, well, I didn't expect anything less, really. Well, the good thing. Well, that's not really a good thing, is it? Well, yeah, it is a good thing, because. Uh, surprisingly. Yeah, that that's annoying, actually, because when you think about it, Paris Saint Germain beat Barcelona which actually kind of cancels out that result but against Stour but mm, two games gone interesting I've got division one ma uh, div uh, division one manager I've got Premier Division manager here again uh, it's our worst defeat since I've been manager that must be international Week. Oh well, I've just been called up. Okay, so Martin. Okay, Thor. Now, well, this is what the problem is, isn't it? What do you do? You, your team's just won, won well, uh, done a 10 match unbeaten run, then thrashed by Barcelona of all teams at the new camp. What do you do? You freshen up? I mean, how has he been getting on? 6.42 is not good enough. Now, he is... Number 7, so he's a midfielder right. Uh, I think I will... Uh, well, that's the problem, though. I mean, I'm going to put him on. Let's see what he's like. How do you think he's played for such a long time? Uh, Trevor Stephen, 35. I've got Paul Merson. But uh, his, like, you know, stats aren't particularly that good, even when he was at Arsenal, you know. Uh, it's a difficult one. But to Guenio, yeah, he's only scored one goal. I'm afraid I'm going to have to replace him. Um, let's see. Well, let's try Yakini. Now, that's one, two, three, four. Ugh, I can't really, can I? Ugh. Let's try it. Let's try Rush. Put the Guerrero on. Let's try Rush, and if he doesn't do well, we'll put Put the Guerrero on. There we go. Again against Morton. Still, still a week and a wee match uh, against Lights of Morton. It's a difficult match. Um. So yeah. So one 0 up. Ten minutes again. Christian Daly. With a goal. Uh, our profit goal scorer is out still. I think that's the second match he's missed. He missed Barcelona and then this game. Again, when he comes back from injury, he'll probably be something like 70%. And. Oh, Save that. I thought that was going to be an equaliser. Uh, when Thorne comes back, he'll be set. <laughs> 1 0. Yeah, as you can see, you know, it's it's like this where you you get all this unbeaten and then all of a sudden you lose a player like Thorn and then you lose the next game and then surprise, surprise, you're struggling in, in the next game. You know, it's a, it's a funny one. But there we go, 2 one up. But I can, I can sense there's a struggle going on. You know, I don't know if it'll be morale or... And as I said about Thorne, he'll come back at 70%, which means you'll probably miss another two games. 
because you wouldn't put a player on that was 70% and it annoys me about that game to all if you had a player like like coming back uh, they should be 100% surely or maybe even 80% I understand that maybe not 100% but you should be coming back at least 80-85% so you can put them on um, you know because there's no point in having them they might as well be injured for another few weeks but they're not technically injured now, come on Oh, are Martin going to get the last minute goal? No, two old draw. See, now we're starting to slay away to Martin, you know, again. They're ninth, you know. Point by Celtic now. We've not even got a game in hand now. Got a game in hand over Motherwell there, but it's. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four players have been called up to the match squad. But Gwenny was being called up with the Spain, the Spanish squad. Okay. So we've got uh, Stranraer again. That's another way game. But we actually had one of three way games in a row. Playing our way an awful lot this time, right? So, well, he two assists. We'll keep him on. Rush. Oh, no, why did I put him on? Um, Collins. Well, seven point one four. That's all right. Now, Durant was a is a nine there on his game. So, a midfielder uh, left. So, actually, to be honest, I might put Durant on instead of Collins. Uh, now, how did he do? A five. That's not good enough. Uh, I'm I'm going to put Daly on, and I'm going to put. Um, I think I need. What do I need? A defender, right? Uh, we'll put Cleland on there. And Durant, Daly, Land. We'll give that. We'll give that a go. See how that goes against Stranraer. Again, it's uh, seems to be more Stranraer than than uh, any other than everybody else. Yeah. Nothing much going on in this match. It's a very quiet match that I now start to worry because we haven't won for a couple of games, so we really need to get a get a win under our belt here, especially against Stranraer. Come on. Goal for Stranraer. Yeah, I had a feeling that you know, it all comes down to that when Peter Thorne got injured. It just felt like that, that, uh, you know, it was a goal equaliser, but it just feels there's a slight black cloud over the team just now. It was just no seem to be getting this uh, a win. Uh, well, there's a second one. Maybe it wasn't so bad after all. Bezenar, I think uh, it's pronounced, to uh, uh, double. Let's say, can we... Um, Corner Stranraer. Well, we got the three points there, but again, we're, we're struggling against like, the Stranraer. We should be like winning quite easily. Well, Celtic drew, so that meant we went top of the league. Two points. It's only six games gone, though. Uh, it's quite tight up here with Celtic Rangers and ourselves. 
and Motherwell and Hart still, you know, so hmm, the league seems to be like uh, looking a bit tight this uh, this season. I'll put that, uh, save that. Alexei Mikhachenko is okay a transfer? No, because now that see this Peter Thorne's come back, but he's seventy percent again. I can't use him. Yeah, we'll skip the international um, results and stats and everything. The problem as well w with the games like in the international ones is that some of your players come back injured and it's so irritating. Um, no, he's, you're not getting a transfer. I think, oh my god, Paul Merson will be out for four months. See, the injuries are starting to happen. So here's a big game. My players at home. So, I mean, the thing is, Paul Merson wouldn't have been playing anyway. He's just one of the players that, just in case I don't have enough players, that he can go on. Um, okay, so... Now, Spittle, he's a, a Scottish international. But the thing is, I don't think he's a particularly great... I mean, his aggression is 20. An injury proneness is 20. So that's the problem. Aggression, you can get booked and sent off. But injury proneness in this game, my God, you'll get injured every game. Every game he plays, you'll probably end up getting injured. Uh, again, I'm, I'm really dis. I mean, again, Thorn, 85%. Um, I could put him on the bench now, I think. Uh, so, uh, you can come on, but I'm really disappointed with, with Butteguenio, I'm really surprised because, you know, I mean, okay, he didn't do great in that 36-12, but, you know, he should be doing a lot better than that. And he got uh, two goals, surprisingly. Okay, let's go on with that team. And we'll see what we can do against Rangers. That's nice. Really need to look to win this game, but I can see the possession is slightly more to favour Rangers. It's more Rangers than uh, than ourselves. Uh, I thought that was going to be a goal there. Normally when you get that little flurry, it's like goal. <laughs> but not this time. Again, this is quite 50-50 and we've got a goal. And I think Butteguenio has seen his name flash there. Yep. That's his first league goal of the season. Which is really surprisingly. And that's another one. And that's this is going to be a really good result. Yukini. It's good when your two strikers actually score. Because um, you feel like you've done something right in signing these players when they start scoring and, and having some sort of partnership. See, now my problem is... Is that a third? Yes. My problem's going to be now, because Thorne is going to be available. I'll probably still replace uh, Butteguenio with him. Um, because, as I said, Butteguenio is like 35. And he'll be good for this type of thing if there's any injuries or a sub. He's on the bench if there's an injury. You know what I mean? So, and this is this is a very good result against Rangers, uh, and the board like that as well. So we've beaten Rangers, they've put them down a four, but Celtic are there, aren't they? They'll be they'll be there or thereabouts like like ourselves. Now, okay, so the league form we're kind of returning back after that. Uh, Hammering by Barcelona, but now unfortunately we've got Paris Saint-Germain in Paris. Hmm. Again, what do you do? You got Thorn. He's ninety percent. Or bit to Guerrero. Ninety-five. Keeney. This is really difficult. This is really, really difficult. But I'm gonna go. My faith is gonna go on with likes of bit to Guerrero. Again, they're exactly the same colours as Barcelona was, instead it says Paris SG. Um, so that was 
difficult. Two away games in Europe in a row, which is always a bit difficult, but the only good thing is is that we'll have the home games. But though the downside is that one of them will be Barcelona. Uh, now, this doesn't look particularly great because their possession bar in the last five minutes is, is it's nearly all blue. Uh, no, this has been a difficult group again. It's it's the timings of the games, and there's two now. That's a miserable European campaign. Um, this this is this is a little bit of the problem. Um, ah, that's what can you do? Too late now to even try any changes and anyway the game's so quick that I don't see what any tactical or any substitutions would help. Uh, no, it's a bit too late now. Oh, and anyway, look, you saved the penalty. <laughs> it's just one of those days where it's just not going to go your way. Right, so not good enough for Europe, clearly. Disappointing. Hmm. Nah, I mean, well, we've got those two at home now, and then, you know, if, well, we'll see, I mean, oh, there's another player out for a couple of months, thankfully, again, it's a, it's not a regular player. Okay, right. Uh, it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, Lennon, 8.2... Duran, A, and Section Europe. Christian Daly. I really want him in defence, but the only problem is it's like a midfielder uh, right. The only midfielders we've got is Trevor Stevens and him, and he didn't do particularly good at all. And, you know, he played 21 matches, and look, six points. That's not good enough for me. Uh, and Spittle is asking for a transfer, and he's just. He's 33. Um, Cleland, how did he do? I said, I'm not happy with that. I, I think I'm going to go for Daly. I prefer Daly in defence. Um, and if I need to shuffle the, the squad when a player's injured, he's ideal because he's defender and a midfielder right, left and centre. So I think what I'll do is I'll put... Could I put like the, the Collins out of position? Because it is annoying. I'm going to try him out of position because Collins is 7.14 and Durant is 8. It's, uh, it's annoying. Uh, Michael Chenko, Mikhail Chenko, now he's career straight. Yeah, well. I'm going to put him out of position. See what happens there. <laughs> well. Yeah, well, it's probably not because of the position, but I just want to see what his rating is after this match if I play him at a position. Uh, well, there's the equaliser. That's good. Lennon. Damn. Ah, oh, here we go. 3-1. Burns hat trick. Yeah, we seem to be suffering a little bit here. Well, so that's basically two matches now in a row where we've been beaten because we're not going to come back on this. Very, very disappointing game. Oh, whole host of them. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's down to playing a player out of position. Um, God, it's unbelievable. You just could drop down like the third. Yeah, uh, just tight up here. Even Rangers are back in it. Even the Hebs, Motherwell, three points. Even that's sixth place. Hmm. 
and Kilmarnock. Right, okay. We're suffering now. I mean, what we got here then? Uh, obviously, keeper's fine. Well, he's good. Tell it. Uh, it's not good enough. Defender left. What can you do? Uh, do uh, I might go out and try and sign. Right. I mean, you got some players that are really good, like Stubbs, defender, centre, brilliant. You know, eight eight point nine after eleven games, that's outstanding. Uh, Collins, um, what did you do? What did you get? Oh no. Um, well, I've only got him. I'm I'm going to play it like that. I'm not going to put any bit of possession because, uh, you know. Well, okay, we'll go for that. Although it's uh, a neutral game at Hamden, it still feels like it's an away game for us because <laughs> uh, it's uh, our name is second, so it does feel like an away game at, at Kilmarnock, which, uh, in my experience against Kilmarnock, they're always a bit of a, a tough matches. But there we go, it's 1 0 up. 2-0 up. Two goals in two minutes. Patrick and Yakini. So, quite happy with that. I said I think a third goal would just kill, kill it completely off. And we'd be looking to a League Cup final. Against what I'm hoping for, uh, Dundee, who were in the semi-finals. But since they're a second division side in this game, then they probably might not get through. Because I think they're playing a, a Premier League side. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I can't remember who they were playing. But I'd be, I'd be much happier if we got that third goal. Because if Kilmarnock gets <laughs> get a goal, as I just say, then they're right back in it with 15 minutes to go, which... Oh no, the goal's been disallowed. Oh well, that's fine then, so we're through, because they're never going to score two and seven minutes. But, you know... Nah, there we go. Well, there we go. Two now. Well, let's get a final goal. Corner. Ah, full time. Two now. We're in the League Cup final. And the board are... Very pleased at the semi-final one. Ah, uh, Hibs. Hibs beat uh, Dundee. Ah, see, I wanted Dundee in the uh, final, but we didn't get it. Uh, that means we'll have another game in hand. No need, to, no need to panic. We have a game in hand over Celtic and two over Hearts. And it's annoying because we just lost against Hearts. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm saving it, because I'm actually going to play it and I'm not going to turn it off. Uh, that's the rule of this game. We just play it and see what happens. And I've been playing it, and that's not too bad. I, man I didn't manage to get to a domestic cup final. I might be struggling in Europe. And the league campaign isn't exactly on all cylinders, firing on all cylinders. But, you know, I'm in a domestic cup final with a chance of winning a, winning a trophy. Uh, well, that team got us through to the League Cup final, so we'll 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 stick with them. So Wraith Rovers, oh, there's an injury. Oh no, Alan Stubbs! I don't believe it. It's happening again, again. It's, it's my probably my best, you know, best rated player, and in eleven minutes, and even worse, I don't have. Oh well, I'll just have to. I tell you what, I'm gonna. If the game's doing that to me, I'm just gonna play attacking football then. Uh, we'll play 4 3 3, although that's not really custom, but we'll. We'll play 4 3 3 attacking, yeah? Where is it? Where is 4 3 3 attacking? Thornland, well, obviously. Where, where is. Butrigueno? Uh, Petra. 4-3-3. That's 4-3. Where's the 4-3-3 attacking went? 
Yeah. Oh, well, that's done it to me again. Look. Uh, oh, it's just saying 433. Um, I can't really see what's going on now. There we go. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, we'll play like that. Uh, that's that's pretty bad. Well, at least it wasn't before the League Cup semi-final. Uh, but hopefully it won't be out for too long. Because it is annoying when this type of thing happens. Again, you think you're, you're back on, uh, you know, like a little recovery after a few defeats by like getting into the, the League Cup final, then bang, another another major injury. It just puts a damper on everything, really, when, when you're actually doing... You can do... You can be doing really, really well, and you could be coming up for a massive match, and then one of your... or more than one of your top players get injured, and they miss, like, four or five matches because they're injured for a month. And there's 1-0 down. An own goal, Petrick. So as I said, it's like, it's just, oh, it's annoying. It really does have a massive impact on your game when you get your top players injured and, and they are regularly injured. You know, it's not just now, it's not just now and again. I mean, I, I, playing this for the, the amount of time I have in this, uh, playing this game now, well, it's not too bad. Uh, the injuries have been okay. Um, normally, sometimes when you're playing it, and there's a Keeney with an equalizer, normally when you, you play it, um, you can have an injury practically every match. And, you know, you're just, you just not got a strong enough team to put out there sometimes. And you just get bad results, but the board just go, oh, that's a poor result, that's a poor result. But they never take into, you know, consideration that, you know, injuries, and there's a one-all draw at home, I bet the board say that was a poor result. Well, <laughs> yeah, sadly. What all Bell Serves doesn't draw against Wraith Rovers was a poor result. But what about my, the injury I got to Alan Stubbs, my best, like, defender? And, you know, there's a big hole in the, in the in, you know, gap in the back there. You know, I hope my league campaign doesn't fizzle out. It has that feeling of it at will, because we're not getting the results against the as I said, the lower teams, which, look, Wraith Rovers are bottom in the league, and, and you know, they, they d we drew it home. And now, you know, oh, you bet for a month. You bet for a month. Joke. And they are also be out for a week. You know, now they're starting to pile up. And here we go again. Still, again, again it's so frustrating. So frustrating. Um, okay then, we'll put... Spittle was all going on about he wanted a transfer. There you go. Here's your chance. See what you can do. Now, you haven't played for us. See what you can do. But I'll guarantee you, he will be like five or something like that. Even if we win, he doesn't get very good ratings ever. Right, okay. Um, I'm quite happy with... with if, well, I don't know. Thorn, he hasn't been scoring now. Uh, again, an injury though, isn't it? Um, Ian Durant. We've got uh, John Henry. 6.66. It's just not good enough. Okay, we'll try Trevor Stephen there. We'll try him. Um, I'm not having 6.66 uh, on my team. 6.83. Oh, well, what we can do, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, put Collins on instead. He's gone down a bit. Uh, Petrick, 7.46. 6.53. Um, he's a defender left. Well, yes, yeah, so let, let's put him on. Let's put him on. And uh, now, check my... So I've got a striker, a midfielder, and where's number 13? A goalkeeper. Now, I should put instead of him on, I should put him on because if I get a defender or a midfielder injured, I'm okay, I've got a replacement and the striker and the goalkeeper, so I'm covered now again I don't I don't hold any hope out for this match because I just feel we're on a downslide here and you know, it's for, we need to win this, we need to win this 
Um, and going into the game, I have no confidence at all in the team to win this. Um, so, but if we can, then we've got we still got a chance of qualifying. We need to beat one of the, the top two, like Paris Saint Germain or Barcelona. Now, we need to win this first of all. So, I'm not even going to think about that. So, I just can't see it though. There we go. There's Steven injured. See, see here we go. The injuries are starting to pile up. I mean, what do you what do you want me to do? I mean, okay, well. Come on, I mean, you know, I'm go it's too late now, we'll go out for the, the transfer market, but, you know, oh, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, what can you do when you're, again, there we go, a couple of injuries, you know, I mean, what was that, it's like four or five injuries now I've got in the team, you know, they're just starting to pile up, and it really does affect the game, and I, I'm not surprised if we, if we, if we get a beat here, uh, which I, I think we will, because it's it's going that way. Goal for Stella, there we go. What a miserable... It really started well by beating Stella Bucharest at home. To be honest, if you're a home game, you, you know, you're, you're always looking to to win. But, um, unfortunately, again, it was just getting Barcelona and Paris Saint-Germain away from home in the next two matches. That's what screwed us up, really. And then you're coming for this one, which is all too late. It, we need to win. Um, if we can get a goal, brilliant. Ah, oh, they'll probably end up scoring, and it, it'll be Spittle's fault. Exactly. Spittle fouled, and that's why I was in the playing him, and he was going, oh, I want a transfer. Game lost. Sucker punched. European campaign, miserable. Because they would have taken points off each other. Got a nil-nil. We could have been sitting on six points. And we would have been so going, right, yes, we need to beat one of these teams. But they were both at home, which would have been... Uh, we need to beat both of them. And that's never going to happen in a million years. 'Twisted knee. I mean, he's played one match and he gets injured, you know. Right. Ah, uh, let's see then. I mean, I can only go for so many players. What I normally do is we'll go transfer listed. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, so. Let's have a go for listed for loan. Well, it's not very good, is it? Um, no. Nah. Transfer listed. Well, let's see what the free transfers are like. Uh, again, you normally get some players like that. I mean, like like this player here, defender. Right. L let's uh, sign him, or try attempt to sign him. Uh, any other defenders? See, the Spanish and Italian uh, Italians in this game do really well. I've had plenty of players that have bought on a free transfer and on loan, that have signed on loan, um, become Italy and Spanish internationalists, so it does actually help. And on free transfer, so I don't need to pay any money. And anyway, I've got a, a tip for to get a player on a free transfer anyway. <laughs> that probably everybody that plays Championship Manager 2 knows about anyway. Um, but I don't need to do that just now because uh, they're free transfers anyway. Now we've got Kilmarnock, Celtic, Hibs, and then Barcelona. Okay. Again, I've got I'm gonna have to put them on. Um again a midfielder right, that's what I'm looking for. Uh I'm gonna put Peter Thorne as captain. Fair an out out player to be captain. Again, it's, we're losing in Europe, but we're not doing exactly that bad in the, in the league. We only got beat by Hearts, really, didn't we? Um, yeah, we, we only lost one. We only lost against Hearts, so... You know, it's no... Disaster, just the team isn't good enough for Europe, which is very disappointing. 
Now you yeah, Kilmarnock. Uh, the only thing is they'll probably be trying to beat us in revenge for the League Cup semi-final win over them. Yep. 1-0. They'll they'll tank us. Watch this. And again, I'm looking out. I think there'll be another injury for ourselves again. Because it always seems to happen in in a, in a spell of like four, five, six matches. You've just got injury after injury, and we seem to be in the middle of that. Again, this isn't good enough. Uh, you know, try to make changes, but as soon as I make a change, the the player gets injured. Makes it really difficult on you know what to do. No, I don't think we're going to get anything out of this one. Uh, looks like it's going to be two 0 not. No, it is going to be 2-0, there you go. Uh, yeah, uh, I love the way that I say, well, we've only been beaten by Hearts. And then the next match we... Uh, I, you know, sometimes it's really difficult to explain why a team... You know, I, I, I don't know. It's one of the mysteries of Championship Manager. You know, get a beat 3-0 here. Probably they'll get, get a fourth or something and you'll go... How? You know, it's like, it's 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 unexplainable. I mean, there's Jokini a four, Gorham a four, fives. So, it's just, ugh. Oh, very poor result. Oh, okay, thanks. See, look at that. I already were dropping down to six. For God's sake. Look at the tight this is. We're still only three points off the top, and we've got a game in hand. Crazy. Oh yeah, fine. Must be the uh, international games again. <laughs> He's rejected the move. Well, well, we'll put what two thousand. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. I mean, that's one player, and. Then you know, sometimes one player can make a difference, and uh, we'll put him right in. Um, now, where is he? He's a defender centre now. Spill. Again, as exactly what I said he'd be. He got a 7 in Europe. Although we got thrashed uh, by Stowe, he actually got a 7. But all come to domestically, he gets a 5. And he's just not... A, I just didn't rate him as a player, and I've not been playing him. But he keeps on getting called up for Scotland, which I just do not understand. So I'm going to replace him. With this player that I've just signed. And hopefully, um, he'll be a good player. Again, hopefully, with the club, uh, and he's coming up to the, the Scottish Premier League, hopefully he'll be, um, he'll do a lot better. Generally, sometimes they do. They, they come up, there we go, 1 0, 3 minutes. Generally, they, they come from, uh, you know, places like Spain and Italy. And as I said, their players just seem to do really well in, in the league. And many of them, again, I, I, you can sell on for millions and they're international players it's it's a funny one when they're just on a uh, I thought somebody somebody's going to oh, <laughs> can't get everything out there I thought some I thought one of my players was going to get sent off there um but there we go and it's one all this is a must win because we are starting to fall although we're only three points behind that's good, that's good. Only we're only three points behind over a game in hand uh, to Celtic. You know, we need we need to get... We need to win this. I'm quite happy so far that it's 2-1 half time, but Celtic have a habit of coming back into it. We just need to get that third. That's an own goal from Celtic, so that's the third. Again, uh, I do say... Um, uh, with that, is that we possibly need to get a fourth to make it safe. <laughs> but 3-1 should, again, I don't like saying that, but 3-1 should be okay. Um, but normally when you say that, the opposition team score. It's penalty not given. That's 
Not not too bad. If if that was if that, if we were one nil down or nil nil, that would have been like what we didn't get the penalty. Well, as I say, we won that game. Very impressive uh, result. Although they only had they had one player missing, the number seven. They didn't have. They only had ten players out on the field from the beginning, which seems crazy. We never won that. We're like fourth. Nah, well, we're one point. The thing is, look at that over Rangers. We've got two games in hand over Rangers. And we're only a point behind. This is this is a very strange... I haven't seen it like this uh, too often. You've got from sixth position being able to challenge. Okay, right. See, uh, actually, you can actually go. Don't rate him as a player. Oh no, and there's another injury. Wow. Just don't believe it. It's just. Um, how's the European Championships uh, going anyway? Uh, let's. Uh, See what's going on anyway, you would qualify and see these group tables. So you group one, you got Sweden, Turkey up there, Denmark, Bulgaria, Norway, Poland, England, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Croatia, Germany, Holland. Yeah, well well that's what oh, <laughs> Germany and Holland. You know, these teams are always at the major tournaments. So you pull out Jeremy Holland, then you know if that was if that was like um, another smaller team, you'd be looking at that as a great chance to qualify. But Jeremy Holland, you might as well say good night. Uh, Israel, Belgium, Portugal, Cyprus. Hmm. Now let's get back on with the club football again. Of course, this is another important match. But look at this. Four midfielders injured. Uh, midfielder, right? We uh, let's put Lampard on. Lampard on. Let, let's put him on. Let's see what what he can do. Because as I said, this is Frank Lampard, but unfortunately, he's not the player that uh, would have been. Obviously, he went to West Ham. He was at West Ham, but he went to Partick, and I got one a free transfer. And he's only 20 years old, so the thing is, but that's not... In the game, he hasn't turned out what he was like in real life, so... So I don't know why I bothered, so I just I just thought I'd sign him because it was Frank Lampard, really. <laughs> but uh, again, this is another... This is... this These these games are coming up are, are, are massive, and it's, it's still early in the league campaign, but... You know, um... I just, I just don't think we're strong enough, and I don't understand... I just I don't understand why all the other teams seem to be. Um, I mean, the six teams that are challenging for the the league just now. Uh, I haven't seen that. Um, I, I think it's happened if, on very few occasions, but it's certainly happening. And it's like, it's so well, yeah. It's like a lot of teams can go for that. That's fine. But sometimes when the teams are taking points off each other, it's like ugh, it, it's just a. Uh, I mean, just a, a lot, really, isn't it? It's just... I mean, it's just... I'm just going, oh, it's just again, it's like, it was Celtic, it was a must-win game. Against Hibs, it's a must-win game. It can't all be must-win games. I mean, every single game you go to play, yeah, it's a must-win, but there's some times when you can say, oh, well, it wouldn't be too, too bad if we got a point. Or even if we lost, that's not the end of the world. But these ones are like, come on, it's like, you can clearly see, I mean, this is a chance, can we get a goal here or not? Goes wide. Another disappointing result. Well, here we go, we got a chance. Goal. <laughs> Yukini, I think it was, wasn't it? Yep, Yukini, 86 minutes. Well, we got away with that, we got away with a point. 
look at the match stats. Yeah, well, that, I suppose the uh, Hibs can say, ah, oh, we should have won that. But to be honest, yeah, a draw was fair. A draw, though. Well, Celtic Rangers. Come on, well, let's see. 22. Well, look at that. We're a point behind. Even uh, the sixth team is four points behind. Thankfully, though, we've got, uh, well, two games in hand and a game in hand over other teams. Um, so, it's a funny one. It's a funny, it's a funny one, this one, this season. Uh, let's see if we can, again, find... Uh, I went for him, he rejected the move. Any team, any players out of contract that are of any interest? Nah, you, you can't really see anybody. Uh, what, what about listed for loan? Any, like, Spanish, Italian players? Any decent players that got ratings? No, I'll go over that with some ratings. Not really. Yeah, there's nobody really there, you know. I mean, there's no point in going for the players that are worth millions because they're never going to sign. Uh, again, here we go. I mean, we need to we need to beat Barcelona. Um, right, Thorne, Yukini, Lennon, Collins, Lampard. He was a seven, so we'll keep him on. Uh, again, Stubbs, he's still condition about a week. We would go after we've got Barcelona and then we've got the Hibs uh, Stubbs Stubbs is gonna miss that. Stubbs is gonna miss the Hibs final. Terrible. Abs absolutely shocking he got injured. Didn't he get injured in that match? Oh no, it was a Stubb match that he got injured. Uh still he's out for about four or five or six matches by the looks of it. Okay then, let's go. Barcelona. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this. But sometimes you n you never can tell. You never can tell. We need to win. Do not too bad. There's always that chance that y you can get a goal, uh, and we seem to be doing really well just now. It's kind of. Oh, that's just now. But you know what it's like. Barcelona got one chance, and there we go, goal. <laughs> ah, and what a miserable European campaign it's been. It really has. Oh, come on, let, let's try and. Uh, I mean, one 0 at half time. Come on. Go on, give someone for the fans, for God's sake, eh? Okay? Such a miserable campaign it's been in Europe. It has really disappointed me. Ugh, oh, penalty kick. Oh, well, there we are. Andy Gorham saved the penalty. Oh, come on. Stop Barcelona now in the last uh, minutes. There was a chance for us. Oh, corner, come on. Thornton right in the face. You got a red card for it. Too late, I think. Man, come on. Couldn't even get a point to give ourselves some sort of chance. <sighs> Look at that. Paris, Shaman beats Stower 6 1. And we've ended up bottom of the group. Oh dear, uh, yeah, we can't qualify. Either. I mean, that's what I mean. If we even got a point, we still wouldn't have been. Four. Yeah, I mean, we needed to beat them, and we'd have been on six, and we would have had a chance. But 
That was such a disappointing campaign. It doesn't really matter now, does it? No. Oh, and he's out for a month. God, and they play their games, so that means I've got, like, you know, at least two games in the hand. And there's Hibs. So, I'm, I'm <laughs> Hibs are top of the league. They're in the cup final against us. 70%. He's not going to be able to play. Ah, keeps on asking transfer. No, I need my strikers there. I'll save it, actually. League cup final. Kenny Lennon. Thorn. Disappointing, Thorn hasn't really been scoring the goals, but... Uh, uh, Lampard, 7 and 6, I don't know, it's so... How did he get on? Well, he's 3 appearances and he's been a 7, that's that's alright. Stubbs is back, but 70%, I can't really play him. If I was to play him, he would probably end up getting injured. Uh, we'll, we'll put Stubbs on the bench. Okay, League Cup final against Hibs. Hibs are uh, top of the league just now, and they we drew one all just a couple of matches ago. Hibs look pretty strong, but we'll see if we can win the League Cup. Actually, from the previous season, I won the League Cup the previous season, so... We're actually the defending uh, champions of the League Cup. But this one is going to be a tough one, I think. This could be single goal here that, that could win this. It's really, really tight, I think. And uh, any chance could be a goal and that could be enough. Uh, it's kind of... I think it is, it's shown that, isn't it? Um, well, look, 51%, 49%. They've had, well, you know, it's very close. It is, this can go either way. Yep, I'm uh, getting a bit nervous now, going into the last half an hour. And there we go, Hibs have scored. That will probably be enough, I think. I can't see us coming back. Just cannot see it. No, it's all, you know, the, the the possession is all green. And there's a second one. Oh, this has been a rather disappointing season so far. The European campaign's been miserable. We're obviously going to lose the League Cup final. 2-1, well, can we do anything in the last 13 minutes? God, all of a sudden, it's like, that's, that's, that's it. 3-1 anyway. There you go. The miserable season continues. Ah, oh dear. They're delighted, but, uh, yeah, well, I see losing the cup final, I can't say we are delighted. Yeah, well they are. So Hibs are the team. Top of the league, they've won the League Cup. Wow. Who would have uh, thought that at the beginning of the season? Not good enough. Not good enough. I'm gonna i I'm gonna keep this uh I, I don't I really honestly don't know. The goals and they're coming from anywhere. You know uh, I mean it has been a disappointing, you know, I mean, you look at, you look going from here, one, two, three, four, five, six matches. Uh, from rightly then, that means going from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, well, we beat Celtic 3-1. But one, one, one in seven matches, ugh. We better watch ourselves here because we are going to start. I can't believe that 
22 points. There's three points from six and first. Just go with a Stranraer at home. Come on now. What we need is a good win. Uh, Stranraer have scored. Yeah, it's, get, it's going from bad to worse, isn't it? Bad from worse. Nah, you can see when when it's not going right. When it's not going your way, you just know it. And it's like, unfortunately, in the last several matches, apart from one win, it's been pretty dire. We've been losing all the important matches. Um, even one all, I just feel that it's such a struggle. A 2-1, we'll call it lucky. There's no way we should have been going on, going in at half time, 2-1 up. But we are, and I'm not going to complain about it. We get a third just to kill the game off, because at 2-1, I can see Stranraer coming back into this. Because it's the way it's going in the matches just now. Yes, 3-1. Exactly what we needed. And a Yakini double. Maybe even get a fourth by the looks of it, with all the p attack and possession we've, we've had. No, we're just not finishing teams off like that. 3-1. No, I'm not going to complain. It's, it's, it's back to winning ways and puts us back up to fourth. And we are actually just a point behind um, Hibs. Uh, we've got a game in hand over Hibs. And then we've got a couple of games in hand over Motherwell and Celtic and below us Rangers. And um, Hearts have actually played 16. We've got three games. So we're not bothered about who's behind us. But we're more bothered about third, second and first. So we're still there. Or thereabout. We're, we're there or thereabouts in the, in the league campaign. I know, Ali, you will stay. Uh, there's me saying I'm not bothered who's below us. I uh, should kind of bother now. Um, okay. Again, that Paris Ashman game, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it could be a game that I can put out maybe some players that don't play. Again, it's like, I'll keep the team. Keep that team, see how they get on. I love the way Van Hoendonk is playing for uh, for Rangers. Obviously, he was a Celtic player. And I just couldn't see Pierre Van Hoendonk playing for Rangers after he was playing for Celtic. And there we go, there's 1-0 for Rangers. And um, I can't see anything that we have done as yet. We done anything? What was the stats? Yeah, I didn't think we'd done anything. Yeah, we deserve to be one 0 down. Get in from this, it'll be a miracle. It's one all. Let's <laughs> just say that. Yakini's scoring anyway. Again, I can see Rangers snatching this because that's the way that it kind of goes sometimes. We're at Ibrox, so, you know. Oh, we should have scored there. We should have scored. That normally is a goal. Uh, here we go. Here's their chance. Nah, one all. Again, it's quite a few draws happening here. Um, I'm just saying it's a good result. Let's have a look at that table. Again, two points now. Come on now, you know, it was a point, now it's two points. Oh, I'll put him on a transfer market. Uh, he's just, I don't know why I signed him. Kill the Ukraine squad. 
He's recovered. Right, I need to try and maybe find some sort of uh, midfielder right. I just I need to find a midfielder right. Uh, well, what about what about attack a midfielder right? Five point two. I will look at ratings though. Any ratings? Is there any other players? I don't think that really anyone else gets added. No. I want a contract on the ratings. But I don't want one of the foreign players. As I said, I'm only allowed to play three foreigners at a time in the squad. and It's annoying. Look for anybody from Scotland or England. I'm looking here. Just didn't seem to be anybody, you know, there out of contract that would, would div Division 2, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for Division 2, I mean 19 appearances, 8 goals, but that's Division 2. Sometimes it'd be worth it, but I can't experiment, it's too, if I was, you know, top of the league with a good points margin, maybe I would buy somebody like that. Um, I just can't see anybody. Uh, what about transfer listed? Again, I, I don't want a, uh, a foreign player. It has to be from the UK, really. Oh, goalkeeper. Yeah, it just isn't anyone there. That's the problem. That's the problem. I can't really... F it doesn't matter about this game. Uh, it doesn't... Uh, he suspended. Ugh, it doesn't matter. That. Right, let's go and play uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Again, knowing what will probably happen, we'll probably end up winning this game, but because uh, it doesn't matter, we're not qualified. Uh, it's been an abysmal European campaign. Uh, so you know. No, no, but again, they seem to be quite a good team, don't they? They're sitting top of the league uh, on the uh, the group stages. Uh, sorry, uh, the yeah, the group stage. They're top. They're ahead of Barcelona, so you know. Uh, they beat Barcelona on the first game, so. Daily injured. See, that's see another big problem is it's a meaningless game for us. And look at that, daily injured. But it's saying he should be okay. Now, I should really take him off. I've completely forgotten about Alan Stubbs. He's back, but I'm not going to put him on for that. I'm just going to put uh, daily on. McLaren, it's kind of out of position. I, I'm not bothered. There's no point in uh, putting daily on, uh, keeping daily on. You'll end up getting injured. Oh, Oh, again, it's, that's a bit annoying. Just made a substitution on 45 minutes. Come on, give us a, a break here. Well, don't give us a break because it'll probably be one of my players' legs. you got 40 minutes. Okay, so as a midfielder. Um, oh, damn. Oh, I'll tell you what. Again, let's put Boot Gwenny up front. Let's... Uh, Oh, let's just do that, man. Again, the game doesn't matter. And there we go, 1-0. And as I said, when the game doesn't matter, you'll probably end up winning it. But no, straight away, 40 minutes we score, 49 minutes they score. That's uh, not bothered about the score. Get win, lose, draw, uh, it doesn't bother me. I mean, you'd be saying if it was a whole match... You know, if you wanted to to win for the fans, that all twelve thousand four hundred five of them that have turned up, well, I'm sure there'd be a little band of uh, away supporters, maybe, maybe something like four hundred of them. Probably we've got a penalty there. We go. Goal, eighty minutes. That's typical, isn't it? This is absolutely typical. Bit of uh, And there's another penalty kick. Put the Quenny over with the hat trick. He balloons it. Oh dear. 
I, I think it is insane, though. Um, you know, we're going to win this. Yeah, we won it. I can't, I just don't believe it. You know, if we've won the match, you know, it was such a dire campaign. Well, we got some money for the board. That'll make them happy. Yeah, it was a very good result, but really, and look, still we drew with Barcelona. I've, again, I've, that is, you know, again, we're never qualified by a, a, a big margin. We finished third, we would have dropped into the Europa League if that was now. Um, but against, you know, five points. Again, we lost against Stoa. And, you know, again, it would have came down. But, ah, well, we're out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, well, well, at the end of the day, it was quite a... Five points is quite a, is quite a distance from the second place to third. God, the Hibs have won that... Uh, See, it doesn't help when the teams around me are, are like getting extra games more than me, uh, because I've got two games in hand over Hibs, so I I would be three points. But the, the problem is, I've got to play these games. <laughs> I've got to play them, and he's daily out for a few days. Uh, he's out for a couple of weeks. So, well, his Stubbs was back. Well, actually, he should be back because I think it's the international. Yeah, he's back. So he never missed any games, so he's 85, he'll be back up to 90-odd, and he's injured. <laughs> uh, Christian Daly is in the starting 11, which worries me a lot, because he was only 85%. That worries me. I wouldn't be surprised if he... Well, Andy Gorham's injured now for a couple of weeks. I mean, it just seems to me I'm just talking about injuries all the time. You know? So that's me a goalkeeper down. Um, got Maxwell, but... You know... Can you do? You're never going to... I can't have three goalkeepers on. It's not, not necessary to have that. But now you go, great, I've not got a goalkeeper. But the actual fact that two goal... If he got injured in that match then I'm pretty screwed. But you would get, um, like, a goalkeeper just appearing in your squad. Um, but it should be okay. Goalkeepers are very rarely... They do get injured, but they're very rarely injured. Um, but, of course, Gorham's injured now. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, then. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking... What about, what about him? As expected, well, he was just a replacement for Stubbs. Daily Petrick. Uh, again, that's not very good, is it? Uh, what about McLaren? McLaren had a 7. Um, I might put him there. Um, he was just injured. Now we've got 3 on there. Collins, Lennon, Lampa. Again, that's not very good, is it? Um... I'm looking for... I'm going to put Steven in. He's 100%, I presume. Yep. He's 35, though. Uh, okay, that will do. We've got Thorn and Gomez. Uh, sorry, Thorn and Yukini. Yukini, I'm happy with that. He's That's a good scoring record, and assists is, is very good. Right. The, and the team that beat us the last time we played them, Hearts. I think they were just above us in the league, weren't they? I can't remember. I think they were. Well, come on, it's good. That's all possessions all us. It should, when it's like that, it's only a matter of time before you score. And if we don't score through this little possession here, then we'll probably end up losing the match. But there we go. There's the first goal. That's not a surprise that we've scored, considering the attack and uh, possession bar was all tangerine. Uh, but... You know, we're looking to get another goal, and we have, so that's good, and it's good that we're beating them, because I think they're just above us. I can't remember, but they're there or thereabouts above us or below us, uh, and it's roughly around about the same points. But I think they've got a couple of games in hand over us. So this is a vital, vital one. And there we go, there's a third, and that should secure all three points. There we go, four. And that's fantastic result. 
Now the crowd are uh, chanting, we want five, we want five. Are you going to give them five? No, four. But that's good, That that's really good. That's just uh, kind of returning to victory really well. Obviously we won the, Euro the, the Champions League match previously. Um, hopefully that win will, will, will now just, you know, We'll just have a really good uh, run now, and uh, that could be good time. I mean, we've only played 15 matches, there's still a lot to go. We're three points behind Hebs with two games in hand. But that's what the, the pro and Motherwell and, and that. But what the problem is, I need to win those games. If I win those games, I can have a, a six point lead. I'll just save the game. Again, I wish I could go out and try and by someone, but there's no one there. Again, this is another vital game, this. Uh, we've got Motherwell, Ruth Rovers, Celtic, Kilmarnock, and then Motherwell again. And Celtic again, that's, um, hmm. Okay. Right, well, we'll keep that team that, uh, I wonder who the top goal scorer is anyway in the division. Kevin Gallon. And, and then you got Yukini and Lennon. Disappointed with Thorn uh, so far. He's not scoring as as many as I would like. But uh, let's get started with Motherwell. Unbelievable. Oh dear. Okay, we'll put a uh, put a Gwenny on it. I mean, it's, it's a good. It is a good replacement. Um, and we'll put Daly on as captain, but. Six minutes, he's injured again, and there's Motherwell one goal up. It's just then um, when they when these things happen, you're just not surprised. You know, I mean, okay, McKinnon's been injured, but it doesn't seem to impact the other team as as much as it does you. So just waiting on uh, any sign of a... I mean, come on, if a two player's injured, there we go. Goal. I think, was that an own goal? Yeah. Dodd. Okay, 50 minutes in there. I mean, look at that, 58 possession. 58 percent possession. Six, why is it one all? We should be winning this match. <clears throat> how how they've scored again, I don't know. Again, it's one of those mysteries, you know, you go into the game and it's so... All these games just now seem to be so vital. I don't seem to be getting, like, uh, any breathing space. And I think it's because of those um, two games in hand. You know, you play whatever, you play this, you play the League Cup final and you didn't play that League game. And then, it depends, you might play some team in, in League Cup, there we go, as an equaliser, uh, and then you'll get the game, you know, rearranged for later, so you've got a couple of games in hand. But if you're not winning the games that, you know, um, you're going to struggle, and that's what I'm doing. I've got two games in hand, and it's like I'm struggling because of that, and, and I'm drawn, and it's frustrating. Maxwell was a four. God's sake, it's... I'm saying it's like four, honestly. I mean, he wouldn't play. Ag he's never going to play again. I'm going to find another goalkeeper. He will never play again. And when, um, looking at that, see what I mean? I've still got three, uh, two games in hand, but I've dropped three now because that's three. So, you know, I'm only, if I win those two games in hand, I'm only going to be on thirty-six, and I'm only going to be three points. See, that a, a, a couple of matches ago, it was. Well, the last match, it would have been six points. Now, we've, oh. Could even ask, because they've, uh, maybe out for a week. Right, okay, so, Ruth Rovers, away. Um, I'm going to put Butcher Gwenny on. Oh, he's still injured. Oh, he's got a management job offer, at least clause. 
couple of days. Well, I don't like playing a goalkeeper who had a, a rating of a four in the previous match because that just meant he just played rubbish and he probably was to fall at the goals or something. That's generally what that means. So, you know. Once Gorham comes back, I'm just going to sign another goalkeeper and get rid of Maxwell because I'm not having that. Ah, oh, seems to be already throwers. Well, as I said, they'll probably end up scoring now. We've got nil nil. What's the stats like? Hmm. Oh dear. Yeah, when you're just uh, struggling in these matches just now. Come on now. I mean, it's been, it's been, the, they've had all the possession like this for the entire match. What the hell is going on? I mean, how are we that bad? Honestly, we're going for the league. We had two, 43% possession. It, the, what? It doesn't make any sense. Well, of course, it was a very poor result. Not just a poor result, a very poor result. Thanks. I wouldn't say that when it was uh, beating Paris last year. Man, what are you? Oh, superb result. I mean, they're bottom of the league. How is this even possible? How is that possible that they have beaten me? Well, it's possible, but I'm just saying it's ridiculous. Bottom of the league, and they won the way that they did. The way that they won, they should be top of the league. Out playing a team that's up there. Ridiculous. A gashed head. That kept him out for what? Three matches or something? A gashed head? Oh, at least Hibbs drew there. I mean, I've got three games in hand now over the top team. And Rangers. And three in hand over Celtic. Two over Motherwell. You know, it's like, God... At least that result favoured us. So he, ah, see, that's that's funny that because that's that's our game in hand against Celtic. Really, that's our game in hand. I mean, we've got Celtic there again, and another away match. How? Yes. Again, it's 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 the actual kind of the matches the way they are, like Celtic away. Difficult. Then we've got Celtic away and Motherwell away. These three matches, forget about Kilmarnock, these three matches here are so important, but they're all away and I know what it's like. I know what the game is like. I've been playing this game for such a long time, for 16 years so far, and I know what all this means. I know we're not going to get the results, Celtic and Motherwell are always difficult. I remember having such a... That was my bogey... Motherwell will have always been a bogey team in this game to me. I remember going away from home for part to them. Every every game we lost. Season after season. I remember it so well. And I still always find it a difficult place to get a result in Championship Manager. Um, so this is, this is another must win. And this is the game in hand. I can't quite understand how that's the game in hand. Um, okay, so what are we looking at? Right, he's 7.5, I'm happy with that. McLaren 6.66, that's not good enough. Robertson hasn't played, well we'll try him. Uh, it's not good enough, 6.53. Patrick 7.18, that's fine. Stubbs, that's fine. Daly, 6.95. Oh yeah, but, but international-wise, 8.33. Great, you've been playing brilliant for your country. Ah, oh, but for me, no, not so. Uh, Collins, 6.52. Uh, 
Duran, this is get. Uh, it's the midfield. I seem to be weak in the midfield, and it is annoying. Um. Oh. So who's the left? Duran is the left. Um, I'm gonna. I tell you, I'm gonna put him on. Attacking midfielder. They're all attacking midfielders. I've got on. Uh, but you go on Yakini Thorn. He was injured, was he? No. Uh, Ninety-one percent. Uh, I don't know. Put the Guerrero. That's not good enough. We'll put Thorn on. We'll we'll put uh, put the Guerrero on the bench. Right. Okay. Again, Celtic. Again. This is. I, I can. This is going to be a difficult one. Again, it just feels like. Uh, Every match, it's. I mean, look at the possession. This is going. The, it's difficult to explain. Sometimes I know how the game works because I've been playing it for so long, and I've got a feeling I know what the outcome is going to be over the next four matches. But it's like it's so. It's such difficult games, um, and you know I can see Celtic winning this because it's all like you know there we go. I, Late on, um, you know, and then we've lost that game, and that's a game in hand, and we'll end up being uh, the annoying thing is I've got a feeling this will be just be uh, mid table, and it would be such a disappointment. I mean, the matter we lost that anyway. We're not going to get that battle of field time there one nil. I don't know. What do you do? I mean, we've still got two, but if we'd won that game, you know, we would have been on 33 and, you know, oh. I'm delighted. Hmm. Probably because that European win. Yeah, it would have probably been that European win. There's no way I should have manager of the month. I can't see how I could be manager of the month. The team have let me down quite a lot uh, this season. The big, the big matches, League Cup final lost. The European matches, vital games lost. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have got beat by Stour, uh Yeah, Stour Bucharest. Shouldn't have got beat by them at home, uh, uh, away from home. Uh, we could have had a chance because we beat Paris Saint-Germain, who qualified for the uh, the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And I must add, when we when we beat Bayern Munich last season and drew with them in Germany, so we took actually uh, f four points off of them. Um, they actually went on and won the Champions League, so and we failed to qualify into the quarterfinals as well, and it was just a, a result against Dynamo Kiev that cost us. And there's Kilmarnock. Well, no, I told you, I said, don't bother about the Kilmarnock match. I knew this was going to come back and haunt me. I shouldn't have said that, because this is what happens. But, um, yeah, I mean, again, here we go, an equaliser. I was about to say, this is not looking good for these four matches. I could see, although, well, again, I can uh, I could see Kilmarnock scoring, but we seem to be uh, more possession now, and we seem to be having more chances, so we might get a second. I hope we do. Uh, it's like a point or getting beat is just, uh, I mean, this comes so close there. That's another bloody draw. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of poor results. See, this is what the problem... I can't believe we're fifth. I can't believe we're sitting fifth. You know, even even Motherwell there. Just six. I can't believe... What's happened this season? I mean, but now we're four points. There was a time when I was saying I, I, I was level, I was a point, I was two, I was three. You know, now it's four. Uh, I can see it just... Just fading away. And again, we are, we are, we need to win this game. Ah, uh, I mean, it's... Then Celtic again. And then Hibs. God, I can't believe how many vital games there is this season. Normally you don't know, normally it's not like that. Norm normally you get the teams that, um, y you'll beat them. Then, but all the other team, all, for some reason, all the teams around me, 
at um uh missed a penalty all the teams seem to be just you know winning and, and taking points off each other like that it's, it's an unusual one and i just feel uh, it's crazy i feel like i'm mid table but i'm not because i'm only four points off the, off the top with two games in hand I think was the two games in hand? Yes. I still think I had two games in hand over the teams. But I cannot see me get... <laughs> I told you, I knew that this was going to happen over these four games. Sometimes I'll try and go out and buy a player there's nobody to buy. You try and buy a player that's uh, two, three million, they won't come to your club. You have to be the big teams to get the attract uh, bigger players, and another disappointment. I told you, go go in this game, go in a Motherwell. You, you hardly get a result against them. I mean, it doesn't matter. Two one, know the way it's going. Well, I thought that could have been. It's annoying, no? Oh, missed a penalty. Thorn, prolific goal scorer over the last few seasons, apart from last season. And uh, not at this season. Any misses, apparently. Uh. Two one. Mm. And that was our game in hand. Now look. Yeah, we won that. We'd have been thirty four. See, what I can't believe we're. Si I cannot believe we're sitting sixth. I cannot believe this league, league table. I cannot believe all the teams are like this. I cannot get my head around this. It makes it so difficult. That's the big problem. Oh, there's Alan Stubbs. All right, goodbye, league. Goodbye, league. Garbage. Absolutely garbage. Absolutely garbage. Again, a big fixture coming up. Oh, let's injure this player. Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. I tell you what, we'll put the crap in on then. Yeah, right for the rest of the season. Fine. It's just annoying me. That just really annoys me. Uh, I could have told you these four games coming up were exactly the way I thought it was going to go. I might have got a draw out of one of them, but all the other ones I'll lose. And this one, will I will lose this one. Mark my words. Because it's going that way. The game has now sank its claws into the team is now dragging it down and I will not win the league now because the game has decided that to be the case and there's nothing I can do about it it's a shame it's a shame there's nothing I can do about it now I know how it goes the game can go two ways for you as I said 1-0 wow what a surprise the game can go two ways for you you can actually coast it uh, and if there's any time it is actually really tight and oh this that you know that you're not going to get the better of this and I for the life cannot remember the closeness of all the teams around me I cannot believe that I'm sitting in 6th position but that's it now you know that's all gone now so we've got what the Scottish Cup left now I mean, Alan Stubb injured for what? Three months? Was it three months? I, I tell you, I, I went in this match saying, we won't win this. The game has decided I'm not going to win it. I know how it works. I, I, as soon as I seen those fixtures. Yeah. Patrick this in the cup. As soon as I seen these fixtures, Celtic... Kilmarnock, Motherwell, Celtic. I went, we will not win any of those games. We might, I said, we, I went, forget about the Kilmarnock game, because I thought, well, we we'll probably might win that one. But no, now we're just on a, a downward spiral. Now we've got Morton Hibs at home. Now, again, the Hibs game, every important game, and I cannot believe how many vital games there is just now. It doesn't normally happen like this. It's too much, you know what I mean? It's like you, you're you basically having to win every single game. Because it's like, it used to be like, oh well, you can afford to lose a game or a draw. For some reason this season, I can't. Anyway, let's go on with this Morton game. Thorn, Yukini, Lennon. How is he getting on? 5.25. Absolute farce. 
Merson might as well go on. It's just not good enough, this. Spittle, six, it's not good enough. Right, we'll put somebody else on. Defend, we'll put him back on. Daly, even Daly has been... Uh, uh, Daly, you can go midfield, actually. Instead of um, that, okay. And we'll put Spittle on. Oh, no, def he is... Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... No, that's it. No, Merson, number two. I'm looking for a defender right. Uh, where is it? Okay, we'll put um, defender right. We'll put Cleland on. There we go. Um, Daily, we'll see what difference that makes. But my team is just... It is just starting to... You know, go on this downward spiral. I know it is. And, and sixth position. We're not even going to qualify for Europe at this rate. I mean, already a League Cup final, I missed, on Europe, I missed out on Europe because of that. I mean, I've played this game for years, but this is actually... One, this could be one of the most disappointing seasons I've ever had. I said, we need a goal. We, we need to start picking up wins. No more draws, no more defeats. We need to win. From that, we need to make, like at the beginning of the season when I went 10 matches, but even those 10 matches undefeated, it was like there was a lot, there was draws in that match. We need to start doing a win and run, starting from now. And if Morton get an equaliser or whatever, it's done. But well, there we go, 2-0. Right, it starts now. And there we go, it's uh, Canzares, I think you pronounce it. There we go, he's only played a few games for us, and he's scored. Hopefully that signing, who turned out to be not that great, um, hopefully this will be his start as well, and he'll get better in ratings and, and be a better player. And then the signing, or it was a free transfer, it would be some great bit of business, uh, signing uh, that player. Well, you know, well, at least we've got the three points here. Uh, again, oh, Martin at the end there, it was a bit of a... Funny one. Just have to wait on Morton's little uh, thing to be over. There we go. 2 0. Okay. Keeney got a man of match. That's good. He got an 8. Uh, that's better. 7, 9, 10. I'm, I'm happy with those ratings, and that's good. Even Clellan got a 9. Robertson got a 7. Um, a set, especially with Stubbs being out like that. Then there we go. So, four points behind Celtic and Hibs. Now, there's still plenty of games, but we have. Don't we have Celtic and Hibs coming up again? No, no, I've already went I've already went past them, haven't I? Okay. Now here we go. This is this is again a must win game. We need to win this. If we go seven points behind, that's good night. That's good night. Now this team was okay, so we'll keep it going.
Oh, no. Well, there we go. Annoying. Red card, you know, straight red, straight red, quite unbelievable. I mean, it's like one of those things, just like 51 minutes as well, straight red card. I mean, that, ugh, there we go, I mean, again, again, you know, what can you do? What can you do? I mean, what we're we looking at, um... Again, it's not looking too good, is it? Yeah, beaten. Damn, I mean... Well, it's all over now, isn't it? All over now. All over now. I can't believe we're 6th position though, you know. I mean, 6th position on 34. I mean, how many times have we been saying, oh, we're, we're, we're 1 point behind, 2 point, we're just... Downward spiral. No, I don't want to save it now. Uh, look, accept it. The player's garbage. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't. I, I, I can sell players, but I just can't um, buy any. Uh, it's all gone now, anyway. We're, we're basically looking at a Scottish Cup run, which is next, so hopefully we can get a cup run. The league's gone, but I can't believe we're sitting six on those amount of the, You know what I mean? It's like, it just seems ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we're just starting to turn into a, a mid-table team. Uh, we're looking at um Morton game now. Looking to get some sort of win. Doesn't seem to be happening, does it? There we go, nil nil at half time. This is not looking too good. Oh, and there's 1-0 Morton. Well, I wouldn't have expected anything less, actually, to be honest with you. It's uh, just going that way. What a promising season it was meant to be. Champions League football. We were in a League Cup final. Uh, well, you know, we're challenging for the league, and now it's just starting to just deteriorate. And, to, and, they're, and they're the seventh team there. And to be honest, they'll probably... Uh, very disappointing. Hopefully we'll get a cup run. Uh, if not, if I don't get a cup run, I think I may resign. Because I don't think the players are good enough for a European game. And, you know, I mean, again, he's suspended. I mean, please, what else am I meant to do here, you know? Uh, it's You can't attract any players... And when you do get your your best players get injured, um, you know, Thorn for some reason has just stopped scoring goals. I mean, well, that's it, Peter. I've had my faith in you for so long. Now, now it's not. Uh, Yukini, I'm happy with that. I mean, well, not really. He should be scoring a lot more, I think, because you look at that nine and ten goals. I mean, you know, well, uh, it's not too bad. But uh, that's not good enough. I don't know what to do to put him in. Tata midfielder. 
put Trevor Rees, uh, t- midfielder, uh, seven, Daly, I don't think Daly's really at his capability, uh, uh, tell you what, put 11, put uh, Collins there, and uh, we'll put, um, there's Daly, we'll put him as number 7, uh, and we'll see how that goes on, now th- bear in mind this is the cup run, we're at home in this game, so we shall see what we can do. Uh, hopefully we can uh, have a good cup run, there we go, it's 1-0. Uh, the only chance to qualify for Europe as well will be in the Scottish Cup, as there's no chance we're going to get back up into the, the top half of the table like Well, you know, looking at, I think it would be if uh, Hibs won the League Cup uh, from us, so they would be, well, actually, if Hibs win the league, then we will get that UEFA Cup spot. Just thinking about that. Yeah, actually that'll happen. So I suppose if anything, we're looking at um, Hibs to, to win the league, uh, and then we'll qualify for the UEFA Cup, but it um, might not happen that way. I'm not sure I'm not sure if, um, if Hibs won the, that, then, then the second team would go into Europe, and then possibly the third team would go into Europe. And then, the, but I'm I'm pretty sure that the team that run, runners up. But then again, Hibs have got to win the league, and I won't know. I won't know until it's um, like the next season if I've actually qualified because I'm just not sure. Here's your Kinney hat trick, and there's the fourth. Daily. Good four nil win. There we go. So that's a good start to the cup. It depends who we get. To be honest with you, we're looking at a, a home tie for the next round and, a, and a, a bit of an easier team. But it just depends who we're going to get, isn't it? Probably get Celtic. We'll probably get Hibs. Probably get Rangers. Someone like that. Well, Celtic got knocked out. Uh, so let's see then. Who will we get? Alwa or Air United? That's a really good draw. Oh God! No oh God! The uh, cold bugs going around, and yes, I'm going to get rid of Merson as well because um, nah, it's just I just bought him because he was Paul Merson, and I went, "Oh, Arsenal will be mighty good," but he's just a terrible player in this game. Just a terrible player. Oh, he's rejected the move, and he stays. <laughs> really? Oh my God! Butuguene is out for six weeks. Wow. So even if we were going for the league, you know, it's just it's just a farce. An absolute farce. Oh well, Peter. Um, oh no, I never had. I thought I was playing Boot de Guenio. No, again, it doesn't matter. Look, I mean, one goal and twelve appearances in the league. Uh, Yukini, uh, he he just scored a hat trick. So I'm looking that that's better. Let's just get on and play the matches because I know the league is out of contention now. So we are just looking to. Um, Well, um, I don't know. Um, again, Stranraer. I don't know. I really don't know what what uh, what to expect uh, here. For some reason, Stranraer have been a little bit difficult every time we played them, and they look like they, they possibly can beat us. Okay, there's nothing much happening here. Stats, five, well, this could go anyway, and I probably know which way it will go, it'll probably just run Rar's way, because that's the way it's going, and there you go, 1-0. Now, sometimes the game um, just kind of, you know, uh, I think when you're looking, that you're challenging for the league, and there's 2-0, when you, that's a prime example of what I'm talking about. When you do challenge for the league and then you start to kind of like fall away from the league, which I did, even with games in hand, and you kind of get this feeling that you're on a downward spiral and then then it just becomes a mediocre, mid-table team that you go just as well you had that good start, uh, otherwise you'd be in a relegation battle, uh, which has been a huge disappointment. 
because this is not how I remember playing the game. When I when I when I play it, um, you know, I you know I, I win a lot of what, things, but this is not <laughs> this has not been an example of uh, how I play the game really. Uh, I ah, see. Here we go. Now they expect a higher position. Ah, uh, you know, God, I'm even now four points there. I mean, actually, I'd better watch myself here. 25 points on the playoff place. Nine points, really. Uh, sorry, uh, what? 24 to... Oh, 11 points. It should be okay, but... Bit, bit depressing, really. And God knows how they're getting called up to the national squad. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it goes. I'll play Air United in the Scottish Cup. I just want to get to the Cup games as fast as possible now, really. Um... Oh, it's international games. Love the way we still have players in the national squad and beat Austria. <laughs> uh, poor old Wales got beat 7-0 by Spain. England beat Mexico 4-0. Northern Ireland 1-1-0 against uh, Borussia. Is that Bel Belarusia? Ah, and there's Trevor Steven out for a couple of months. Uh, well, well, Emilio, um, why are you asking for a transfer when you're actually injured? Well, there we go. Can't play him, but he's looking for a transfer. Division 1 side, okay, right. Um, thankfully, he wasn't playing. Uh, I've probably got my faith in these players for a Division 1 uh, team. I'm sure we can beat a Division 1 team with the players there uh, that are already picked. If not... I will resign. <laughs> so expect my resignation at the end of this match if I lose. Now that I've said that, you know, now I'm going to lose. I'm going to have to stick by my word by resigning. So if the players want me out, if it, players, I've, I've told you before the match, if you lose this, I will resign. So let's see if they have any compassion for me and if they want me as manager they'll win if they don't want me as manager then we will get beat uh nil nil at half time at home against the first division side this is not looking that great um i'm pretty sure we might get the goal and there it is one nil and uh there we go so one nil 2-0, it looks like I get to keep my job, I'm not going to resign. <laughs> so the players want me to be the manager, it seems. 3-0, see, uh, I was a bit worried because when it was 0-0, I thought, here we go, I'm going to lose, and then it'll be like, a, and there's 4-0. So at the end, uh, the players want me to be the manager, and uh, quite happy with that 4-0 victory. Um, there we go. And the board even are saying it was a good result. And again, well, Celtic are out. Um, I don't see Rangers anywhere. I see a lot of Division 1. Uh, okay, well, we'll see. Um, and again, we will play Dumbarton in the quarterfinals. Well, look at this. What have we got here? Huntley, St. Murn, Morton, Aberdeen, Stranraer, Cowdenby, Clyde Barton. Wow, this is a great opportunity to maybe win this tournament. Uh, maybe the season won't be such a disappointment after all, but uh, we'll see. Is Lampard out for a few days? And there's Sergio Gomez asking for a transfer. No, Sergio, no. Uh, the good thing about not bothering about the league anymore is that, um, you know, uh, I'm not really bothered about it, so I can concentrate on... The cup, and, and, and to be honest, I, I don't need to care about the results. Um, so, but you know what will happen. We start winning matches now, but it's all too late to. And I don't think we could finish uh, as high for the European place. So, if we do win the Scottish Cup, which is the teams that are in it, we we've got a, we stand a really good chance. Uh, we could qualify for Europe uh, through the Cup Winners Cup, which would be um, quite a. <laughs> it's disallowed. You see what I mean? There's one nil. Uh, will this will this will this stand? Yeah, this stood. Should have been two nil there, but there you go. Um but that's the way the game is.
should have been two there, but not quite. Well, one nil so far. I mean, I don't think there's enough games to, um, you know, try for a, you know an assault on the league. I, I just don't. I don't think there's enough games. I think we were what seven points uh, when Hibs beat us. So I stopped actually looking at seven points, and that was a couple of games ago. Um, who knows um, if Hibs get beat? Well, thankfully, we might have the three points here. If Hibs get beat a couple of times, and then we obviously have to play them again, I think, then we'll see. So it might not be, but I can't see it. Um, it's just been so disappointing in, in the results, draws and losses. and just It's just kind of like just been a damp squid, really. But that was a good win against Rangers. Uh, the board think that was a good result. Uh, yeah, we're still... I believe we're still six. Uh, Hibs have won anyway there, um, 37, I we're 10 points behind, uh, I mean look at that, we're only actually 2 points behind 3rd, uh, but, it was 10 games to go, uh, well, I don't know, we shall see, and I've been awarded manager of the month for February, that's uh, a funny one. Well, there's uh, Strand Rahn knocked out, and there's the Stubbs back, 100%, so we do have Stubbs back. Now, who will I replace him with? Uh, well, it'll be one here. 6.91, although he scored... Hmm. Uh, Cleland, 7.33, that's a surprise, he's playing actually really well. That's not good enough. Um, I don't know what to do here. Uh, defender left, shall we put him in? Uh, uh, Collins, 6.61, not good enough, I put Gerrant in, Lennon, yeah he's been good, Yukini and Gomez, again Gomez, he's asking for a transfer but hasn't he been playing quite a, quite a lot recently? I think he's been playing every game recently, anyway. We're playing Hearts who beat us the last time we played at Tyne Castle. And kind of started that um, downward spiral, actually, if I remember rightly. Uh, here we go, we're uh, at half time, it's still nil nil. Not half time. Again, I'm looking quick, look at the ratings. Nothing bad, but nothing spectacular. No one's really coming forward and potentially being man of the match or anything like that. Just, uh, just go on. I think the well, no, I, I, we're not going to be able to go for the league. I mean, we're ten points behind. Um, what we need is we need to win games, and look, we're just. You can see that it's just not happening. Um, you know, we could have a chance here, but if it comes down to just having an odd chance, then that's we're never going to compete with that. We need to be having very, very good. Um, you know result very good displays very good uh, play and and we're just not doing it i mean nil nil i mean let's see hips got beat to what a, what a blooming well <sighs> i mean nine points now we actually could have been seven points uh, again i'm still six incredibly although i'm only four points from second so actually i could qualify for uh, that so maybe possibly we'll see what goes on Disappointing. Though. I, I, the only thing you'd say it was an away game against Hearts, and the away games against Hearts and Championship Manager are always quite difficult. Uh, now Dumbarton and Division uh, Division One team in the Scottish Cup quarterfinals were at home. Um, let's hope we can get a result because if we can get a semi final, then we're only a match away from Hamden. Well, I think we'll actually be playing Hamden in the semi finals anyway, so we'd actually still be there. But you know what I mean? Would be. Uh, again, away from uh, a match away from, there we go, a goal uh, from another cup final. It would be our second cup final. But as I said, this is only the quarter finals. Let's get the quarter finals out of the way first. And there we go, 2 0. Looks like we've booked ourselves into the Scottish Cup semi final. 
and depending on what type of draw we get it all you know it's gonna this is looking good this tournament all of a sudden for us might get a little bit of success out of this season 3-0 24 minutes well at least we're getting some like a nice little cup run going uh, some for the fans to cheer about possibly 3 0 half time. That is a good half. And uh, as I said, this is now just, uh, you know, coasting through. Uh, we might get another couple of goals. There's the fourth. I'm pretty sure we'll get another, like, one at least. Uh, the, the crowd are basically chanting, We want five, we want five. And uh, is the team going to give them five? No, they're not. <laughs> they may. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. It's a little bit of Dumbarton pressure. Well, it doesn't really matter. 4-0 half time. 4-0 uh, full time, sorry. Um, yeah, that's that's good. We're now into the semi-finals of the Scottish Cup. And the board liked that. And this Cowden Beath beat Wraith Rovers. Um, it's Cowden, Beath, Morton or Aberdeen? Morton's the only Premier League team, apart from me obviously, left in it. Uh, ah, damn, and see, oh, Hib. See, this is what I mean, then they get their games in hand, which means, look, I mean, now I've got another game in hand, and they haven't done me any favours this season, the game in hand. Oh well, as I said, I'm focusing more on the Scottish Cup now, as you can see. Ah, oh, of course we get Morton or Aberdeen in the semi-finals, of course. We could not get the Division 2 side or the Division 1 side. And it feels like it's an away game because we're we're there. So if Morton win, it'll be like Morton's home game when you're playing it. And I can exactly what it's like. Morton will probably end up winning that now. It's typical. I could have had Cowden Beath or St. Martin. Nah. Nah, I get the toughest thing, eh? Oh. Oh, he's out of a cut of eggs, yeah. Gwenny was back. Right, so when is the cut? We've got one, two, three, four. Oh no, they, oh, they must, they've they got a play. So it's either Morton or Aberdeen, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's just keep with that team. Right, see now, we're starting to get the victories. And we're st see, this is, this is... This kind of like, um, does it go 2 0 within 30 minutes? These are the type of games. This is what happens when you're coasting to, to the league, you know, to, to win in the league. This is what happens. You start winning games like this, you know, like the previous game, 4 0, you know, it's, it's all the goals, and then this game, you're, you're on easy street again. But what is happening now when it doesn't matter? It's so frustrating. The only good thing I can say about this run is that I'll keep the the momentum going for the for the cup. Oh there we go. Rithro just get that goal just before half time. Which was that was that was such against uh, the runner play. But I'm pretty confident we'll get another uh, couple of goals. <laughs> the corner Rithro is moving out then. Oh god all of a sudden all of a sudden it's all Rithrovers, isn't it? All the Wraith Rovers chances. Oh, we put the third to finish this one, yeah. Put this one to bed. Not really, but we won the game, but that was a bit of a funny second half, wasn't it? We only had one on target, and they scored that one on target. It's several. You know, well, we won, that's the main thing. Keeps that momentum going. Again, hips drew, but it's 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 no, it's not. I can't believe that I've been like six all this time. Uh, still ten points with a game in hand. I may add, but uh, I don't know what the game in hand is. Oh, you were injured, were you, Butuguenio? For God's sake, asking for a transfer. Oh, Clellan's been called up. Uh, who we got next then? We have, oh, oh, typical. You see what I mean? I mean, it's Motherwell away. And what was I saying earlier? 
you never get a good result against Motherwell away from home, and it's just going to be the same. And that's again, I had a game in hand against Motherwell the previous, you know, the the last times I had a game in hand, it was Motherwell and Celtic, and I lost both of them. It's just you get certain certain games where you're not going to pick up a win, and Motherwell is one of them for some goddamn reason in this game. That's what happens. Uh, let's have a look, Cleland. Well, that's what he's got. Now he's a defender, right? This is. So is Cleland on the... Well, I've got Cleland on there, at number four. Uh, now he's... Um, well... What about number two? What, oh, that's a defen oh, God, I've got him in the wrong position. It should be, he should be in there. I've got him in the wrong position. Uh, that's a funny one. Jay Robertson. Um, oh, that, that's a... F oh. Damn. Ah, that's probably why I've not been playing him. Well, to be honest, it doesn't really matter, does it? We'll put... Uh, Boot Gwenny was been crying. So let's put him on. He's been crying for a transfer for the last month, a couple of months. So even though he's been injured in that time, we'll give him a game and see what he does then. I need uh, three points here, uh, Boot Gwenny. So are you going to deliver for me since uh, I've put you on? You've been whining and whining about being angry that you've been left out the team, and then there you go. You there's Motherwell's one 0 up. Well, that's disallowed. Well, it doesn't matter. Motherwell will score again. It's got that feeling about about the game that, that, that it's so standard. Actually, this game, this match is a standard match where it's like, I I sometimes think you you're just destined never to win a match. And look at all that possession. Although Motherwell will then go and score. Not going to guarantee that. There we go. Uh, Neil Lennon. Goal. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Are they going to want it or are they going to get a leg? I can't. <laughs> Goes against everything I've just said. Eh? Maybe just a frustration coming up, but... I, I honestly that a one nil result of Motherwell is is an incredible result because you just do not get that that result sometimes. And Motherwell are, are really difficult to to beat at home, and you've got there we go. So we've got that game in hand. Well, seven points. Again, you know, well the UEFA Cup spot will be the second place, uh, and that's well in our reach. Well, we've got Aberdeen. Aberdeen for Division 1, so... Again, though, I would have preferred uh, Cowden Beath, I think, there, yeah. Uh, again, there was nobody to buy, anyway, so... Yeah. yeah, I was disappointed that I couldn't really add any players to my squad through the season, because there wasn't really any... And now, now Sergio Gomez is asking for a transfer. Um, accept the offer. Now they, now they want to buy. They went to buy him um, earlier, and he refused to go. He couldn't agree on like the wages or something. Uh, let's get these. Right, and he's agreed this time. He, he rejected the move last time. They got a manager of the month again. That's strange. I don't know why I'm getting mad. He's rejected the move again to the same team. What's the point of talking to them for the second time then? Okay, we got Kilmarnock again. God, I feel like I'm playing away from home an awful lot, but I've only actually genuinely I've played home recently more. That's a funny one, isn't it? Uh, then you got Kilmarnock and then that. Okay, as I said, there's an outside chance, but again, Kilmarnock away again. That's a difficult match away from home. Okay, and we'll we'll use the team that uh, disposed of Motherwell in the in that match, and we'll see what uh, happens in this match. Uh, again, now I'm kind of getting my hopes up a little bit, but I kind of Kilmarnock. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you just know. Frustration is unbelievable, actually, with that. There's a goal. We've got one back. But sometimes it just feels that Kilmarnock, the other team, are just going to edge that and get that extra goal ahead of you. 
Um, but we'll see. Well, one all. I shouldn't have maybe got my hopes up for uh, maybe a quick, maybe a late challenge on the league because um, now um, there's a goal, it's a second one. Cushion daily, 54 minutes. I would ideally like to get a third tier. I mean, it's all, look at the possession bar, it's all tangerine. Well, nearly all tangerine. It's a goal, it's a third, it's 3-1. This is a good result. And that, that means, you know, two away games in a row, we've, we've collected all points. That's 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 good. That's championship winning uh, material. That's championship winning results. So it depends what Hibs do and, and Celtic do, I suppose. Ah, see, they both won. That's what makes it more difficult. I mean, we went up to third. Still seven with like... Seven points with six to go, but we probably play Hibs and Celtic, and then, oh, it's frustrating, isn't it? A couple of those defeats that we had. A couple of those results, you know, as you have Cup semi finals, Leverkusen 1, British McGovern 0, Vondam 1, Everton 3, European Cup, Ajax 1, Milan 1, Kaiserlitton 2, Bayern Munich 1. Yeah, the colours cut leisure was now has a split one Real Madrid four Newcastle two. Um, okay, here we go now. This is the Le uh, sorry, I was to say the League Cup semi, the Scottish Cup semi final. Um, now you look at it and say that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's something like seven matches undefeated. Um, I'll keep the same team. Again, it feels like it's an away match, and it's at rugby. Oh, apparently, Aberdeen already. Well, he's put it wide anyway, but oh god. Really honestly, what should have really happened was the goalkeeper would have been sent off in three minutes. They would have scored the goal and that would have been basically it. Um, So, again, I just got a feeling that I'm looking at that and going, that's in the way match we've got. It's not, a, it's not a neutral, it's not a neutral ground at all. Well, that's a side of the cup. Wow. I thought, you know, yeah, it's funny that. See, when you get Premier League opposition and everything like that, it's like, you know, it's more tougher. But sometimes it's just tougher against the... I mean, Aberdeen were relegated the previous season. So, which was... They think they got relegated through the playoff. So, to be honest, they shouldn't have been relegated. So, they're, there's 2-1. Uh, so, they probably were a team that, that shouldn't have been relegated like that. And they've, they've, they've basically... I can, when I look at the first division... Oh, there's two. Oh, that's a surprise. I still think Aberdeen will win this. But when I look at the, the, the first division table, I bet you that they are they are going to... They've probably already won the championship or something like that. They're probably so far ahead and because they're a team that shouldn't have been in the first division. So this is what makes this game more difficult. I would have preferred to have had Morton, the Premier League team, instead of this team in the, uh, from the first division. Because I feel they'll snatch it. But who knows? Very nerve wracking right now in the last uh, few minutes. But come on, we just got to. Oh no, oh no, I know what's going to happen here. Oh no, I don't believe it. Sucker punch right at the end, game over, full time, 3 2, out the cup. Wow. Oh my god, unbelievable. The game has done it to me yet again. When I seen Aberdeen got through, I knew that they were going to beat us. Oh, disappointed. Really disappointed, are you? Oh, an abysmal result. Really? Really? Oh, and then again, look, all the other teams get to play, so I've got probably another couple of games that I've got a game in hand. Now I'm back down to 5th and I still can't believe that 6th position 
is is still like that. I've, I I I was I have been playing this game for a long time. In sixteen years, I have never seen the league table like this. That even after all this, I could win the league and I could finish sixth. And anyway, let's have a look. See, Aberdeen told you they're basically going to win the league. You know, it's, it's, and so when Aberdeen were on, you know, a momentum of winning ways, weren't they? And we were kind of like, oh. God, this, uh, this is just, end oh, here we go now. This is another, see, two, there's too many must-win matches in this season. You cannot, you, you need to be on top, top form, and we are not on top form. And this is again, this is it really. If we can, if we can beat Hibs, then we will claw this back and have it again. I don't know. I mean, the team was sucker punched there on ninety minutes. That's that's it's tough to take that. And there we go. Ah oh, well. I wish I wish the, I wish the game didn't get my hopes up like that. I really wish it didn't. It's the same as the the, the last game. Two 0 down within certain amount of time. But this time we won't get back. I mean it's what a disappointment. What a disappointment. God, going like the last game, what would be two all by half time again? You know Ah oh dear. It's, uh, it's just you just feel gutted. You know, look at all that the 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 Titan possession. I agree. I just feel gutted about the last match, Scottish Cup semi final. Two 0 down. We come back to two all. Sucker punched in the last second. Oh, what's the point of equalising? They'll probably win it in the last minute. You know, I mean, we're actually looking. Oh, there's an injury again. We we get back into it and we're saying, oh, actually, we can maybe snatch someone here. Injury. Uh, you know, ridiculous. Again, it's going to be a position, but what choice do you have? Not much. Right, come on, we've got a corner. It's either going to end up a defeat or a draw, isn't it? Uh, again, both. Both aren't good enough. We need to win. Oh my god, I got, got a goal. Can we hold on to that? Oh my god, that was nearly a goal straight away for them. I don't know, don't know sucker punch us again for the second match in a row, eh? 91 minutes. Well, we've got a win. We're back in league contention. Incredibly. Absolutely incredibly, we're back in league contention because if we get, if we win our game in hand, we're on 53 and we're only two points behind. We're back in, in the contention, incredibly. Okay, it doesn't help when you get these injuries. It really doesn't help. Again, what will happen is we, we'll let ourselves down. We'll, a result will go that we'll let ourselves down. I know it will. Uh, we're looking for a defender right. Well, we'll put him a defender right and now we're looking for a defender left. Uh, no. What am I doing? Where, where am I? Right, I need a defender left is there, number three. Um, I've just put some new random there. So number four is... Oh yeah, there. Okay, we'll we'll go with that. Daly. Daly's done better in midfield. Keeney. Who's the top goal scorer? Gallon. Keeney's second. What a disappointment with Thorne this season. No, he just didn't perform that well. That's why he's on the bench. But the Guenio, oh, it's been disappointment as well. But okay, let's let's go. I mean, we're go I I think we'll let ourselves down in a match. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But there's there's a good start. Uh, maybe just maybe. But I've said it before. Oh, straight up, straight away, straight away. Score and then concede straight away. Just that uh, that. This might be the game. Do you think? I, I probably will be actually. When I think about it, am I going to let? Is is it, is it just going to fizzle out in this game straight away? Like we beat Hibs to 
you know, we're only five points behind with a game in hand. Are we really going to sting ourselves? 2-1, who's that? Guerrero, I think it was. Yeah, double for him. I mean, really, are we really going to just just lose it on the day here? And I mean, we need to win. We need to win. A point is not good enough. We need another goal to make sure. Goal. And it's a pile driver. And that's Yakini. So it's good again. But both strikers are scoring. That's what you're looking for as a manager. That's what you're looking for. Your strikers to score. And the strikers haven't let me down today. Put a granio. He's been going on about a transfer. Because uh, he's not getting played. I put him on. And he's actually delivered. I didn't mean to make him captain. But um, he's actually delivered. Which I'm happy about. And Hibs drew. And Celtic lost. So that means we are actually three points behind with one game in the hand. And that game is Celtic. Oh no. And it, is it away from home? God, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five players called up. Well, this is it's getting a bit more interesting, isn't it? Um, again, I just feel that we'll let ourselves down. Max all of that. That means I'm not going to have a goalkeeper, I think. It depends, though. No, I should be okay. Maxwell will be back. It's the international uh, game, so yeah. Oh, there's Booty Granny who injured. I don't believe... This is what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The international matches is a joke. Because that just means when your players go and actually go and play for the country, they get injured. And that is Booty Granny injured. He just scored a double in our last match. And now he is injured. And there's Gomez asking for a transfer. You know? I cannot believe that. And this is this is what happens, though. You can be going along good. We were out of the league for so long. And all of a sudden, we've, we've, we're back in the league contention. And they're only satisfied. Great, thanks. I get manager of the month, and they're only satisfied. Um, okay, we've got Stranraer. As I said, we're, we're hoping to look in at Hibs will start losing. Uh, again, um, oh, it's no such a big loss, is it? We'll put Thorn back on. Um, now, let's see. Well, that team is winning, and, I mean, look at that. Stranraer, Rangers, oh, that's... Uh, it might not matter by then. We've only got... That's good, though. We've got... Th out of the four matches, we've got that. Uh, to be honest, with those five last match with Morton winning, that was five. We're going to have four at home. That's excellent. That's what you want when you're going for the league. But Strunrar first. Let's not look at any other team, because we have struggled against Strunrar. So... I've got a feeling we'll, we'll win it because um, it, the momentum is going with ourselves. Even though we got knocked out of the League Cup, uh, sorry, Scottish Cup semi-final in the last minute, it doesn't seem to have affected the team too much. Which isn't too bad in my book. But we do need to, to win these games. And come on, the possession's ours, come on. No, I thought that was them going to score there. Again, Stranraer seem to be a tough team uh, for us this season. I think, I, th I think it's been very close in all matches. I can't remember all the results, but it's been very difficult. And it's like, come on, man. Dennis, screw up at home. I mean, the thing is, if we don't screw up at home, if we win all our games at home, we've got a great chance of winning the league. But this is what I'm saying. Don't screw up at home, and it's as it goes on, it's looking more like ah, oh, Stranraer scored. You wouldn't believe it, would you? God's sake! The entire season's been a disappointment, you know, and we actually finally get back into league contention with a few games left. And look, Stranraer are beating us at home. God, they're going to beat us, aren't they? 
I told you, I said that we will screw up by ourselves this chance that we had and we have screwed it up. Even a point. It's a really it's really screwed up. Man, there is full time one nil Stranraer. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, it's another that's another abysmal result. Oh, and uh Hibs drew to and Celtic drew. Oh, it's, it has screwed up, isn't it? Oh, God, if we'd won that. Oh, I don't, I don't even think about it then. Oh, there's Boot to Grenu coming back. Oh, I wonder at any impact on him missing the match, eh? You know what I mean? Oh, and here we go, Rangers away. Oh, if we were going to lose a game, something like that away game against Rangers, would uh, that? I can't believe that. I can't believe that. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh God! Look, Stranraer beat us ten matches ago, and apart from the Aberdeen game, Stranraer beat us again. Ah. Oh. And the worst thing is, if Rangers win this, then they've got a better chance of finishing second and taking the European spot. Because I have no idea if I'll qualify for Europe, uh, being runners-up in the League Cup final to Hibs. Uh, uh, I don't know, and, and Hibs would need to go and win it, so I don't know. The only way I'll find out is that when I start again the next season. I don't know how it'll, um, it'll, it'll sort out, but as I said, I mean, I knew that. Look, I can guarantee you we'll get beat by Rangers. I was looking at that match and going, well, we'll get beat by that. We'll get beat by them. Andres Tom, you know, a, an ex-Celtic player. Do you really think he'd play for Rangers? Yeah? You know, they've got Pierre van Hoindonk, Andres Tom, you know what I mean? I even think Stuart Kerr was, was a Celtic goalkeeper. Um... Yeah, I mean, they've got Celtic, ex-Celtic players on there. It never happened, would it? So, you know. I so I looked at this one being the only away match and going, I'll probably lose that. Too dif that's just so disappointing. What a, what a disappointing end to the season. Not even Europe. Ah, oh, dear. So It's amazing, isn't it? You can go through the entire season like this. And it's just a few matches at the end. There's 2-0. Just a few matches at the end. But, well, it's not, is it? It's the entire season. Basically, we should have won that league. Even if you consider those two results, if we had won two results that we'd lost... Uh, that's that, then. Kind of won it now. There we go. Yeah, we can only get to 59. Oh, well, no, they're on 36, but... All of a sudden, I mean, God, even that, look, we can still finish, like, sixth. I can't believe that, that that's been... I can't believe that gap. 39 points for seventh, then 52, and then there's only that amount of points. There's only eight points separating first to sixth. Can't quite believe that. Anyway, that seems to be uh, all over for us, so that's good. <laughs> uh, what a disappointment. Let's just get over with. Oh dear. Two games like that at the end. If we'd beaten, even if we'd gotten beat by Rangers, I think we would have been okay. I think we would have, we would have got that. Uh, you know, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You could say this and that, but well, look, look, look. It's all Hearts' possession just now. So, wow, what a sh what a shocking way to end the season, eh? It wasn't a fully disappointing season after all. I mean, we managed to be in the league championship until, what, the third for the third last match? The Stranraer match? Really, well, the Rangers match killed us off, but the Stranraer and the uh, Rangers, two defeats in a row like that, that killed it off. What a, what, a, what a huge shame. And you can see that, 11,840. If we're about to win the league, it would have been a full house. Yeah, well, now look, we can't even get a, a goal here. We can't, we can't get a result now. It doesn't matter now, does it? Well, it kind of does. If we if we do get a win, then, you know, uh, we have a look at maybe Hibs might lose. But 
Yeah. Well, we'll have we'll see. I mean, seventy minutes was scored. It's difficult. It's all against us, though. The only thing I'm thinking about now is that I don't want to finish sixth. Mid table would be awful. Well, that's that's not even mid table. Fifth is mid table. Six is the bottom half. And I don't want to finish the bottom half because that would be a crap season. There we go, two and it didn't matter in the end, you know, get a second, but there we go, we get it when it doesn't matter, do we? Um that's that's there. Yeah, we deserve a two 0 Um Hibs have won, I think that's it. I don't think we can catch him. No, nah, they've actually they they've they've won the league. No, oh, they they've they've played that. Oh Chris, yeah, of course. Well oh no look. Well, a draw against Celtic would be fine. Well, the thing is, the UEFA Cup, well, the UEFA Cup spot is second. If you reach second, you'll qualify for the UEFA Cup. Um, so it do, it's unbelievable, isn't it? My game in hand is Celtic. It's at home, and Hibs win the Premier Division. Now, the thing is, I don't know if I've already qualified for Europe because I was runners-up to Hibs, and by the way, Hibs have done the a League and Cup double. I done the league. In, I I won the league in the league cup the season before. Hibs have won the league in the league cup this season. Oh, Trevor, Trevor, your colleagues. Back straight. That's because you've thirty six of them. Uh, oh, so here we go. So if we win this, we qualify for the UEFA Cup. So at least there's there is something to play for. Uh, Peter Thorne scoring. Um, I don't know. Nikini. Uh. That's some assists, 16 assists. Well, we'll just go for it. We're at home. We might have a, a, a good chance. So here we go. Come on. If we win this, we qualify for the FA Cup. And it wouldn't be so bad. Well, actually, if we draw, then we'll still... No, no, we need to win, don't we? Because Rangers are, are ahead of us. To finish to finish uh, third, we just need to draw. And there we go. There's, there's a goal. Um, I presume uh, third place wouldn't get the UEFA Cup because um, I had to do a plumbing round in the Champions League um, to get into the Champions League, so I would imagine that it would only be one. I can have a look at that, uh, but I would imagine it would only be two, which would be the second place, and there's 2-0, uh, the second place and the League Cup winners, and I'm not sure if it will be the League Cup runners-up, uh, but the thing is, if we could win this match... Uh, we get a third, it'd be very comfortable, and we'll qualify for Europe. And then the season wouldn't have been so bad after all. Finishing runners-up. Finishing runners-up to Hibs in the league. Finishing runners-up to Hibs in the League Cup. And getting knocked out the Scottish Cup by Aberdeen in the last minute in the semi-finals. To be honest, I, w I was there or thereabouts. But not just... It, it just came down, I'd tell you what. It really came down to that Stranraer game. The Stranran Rangers game where I lost those two matches. That's where it's come down to. It's so disappointing. I mean, I hope... Uh, could you imagine getting more disappointed now? Getting beat 3-2 by Celtic at home? Nah, it shouldn't happen. But uh, you never can tell in this match. In this game, I should say. If they get a... Ah, we're fine. <laughs> so well, come on now. Full time. There we go. Well, look at that. I mean, they had... They had actually two players missing. They couldn't even field 11 players. Well, how? If they couldn't field 11 players, well, they, but they've got, like, substitutes. I, I, I don't... No, they must have took those two players. No, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to bother about that. Uh, so, well, look at that. 2-0. It should have been 5-6-0. Newcastle win the Cotterners Cup. There you go, 2 0. Let's have a look at the table. Yeah, we finished second. Uh, four points. And it does come down to that Stranraer and Rangers matches. They'll, oh, God. If we'd beaten them, Stranraer and Rangers there, we would have won the league. But then you can go and say, look, we had such a terrible kind of uh, start, you know. Uh, well, no, we had a really good start, and in the middle of the campaign, it just went pear shaped. And so, competition, look at this. So, Bell's Premier, uh, competition history, as I said, Hibs won it, and we were runners up. Uh, I won it two years in a row. Um, let's have a look at 
uh, well, the League Cup. We'd won it the previous season, Hibs won it. Actually, the season isn't over yet, is it? It's still got the playoffs to do and the Scottish Cup final, so we'll, we'll get that. And, and, and you know what? Sunrar were really good against us, uh, you know? And they found themselves in ninth position, the playoff place. Ah, dear. There we go. Everton. God, uh, Newcastle won the Cup Winners Cup. Everton won the UEFA Cup. And then look at that. Air United actually, on away goals, got promotion from the first division to the Premier. And Strunrar are actually relegated. And do you know what? I'm glad to see the back of them. Because it's their, it was their fault that I've lost that league. <laughs> no, well, to be honest, the fault was that uh, uh, results. Four points. That's all it was at the end of the day. Four damn points. And there we go. Aberdeen have won the Scottish Cup. So, do you know, it's funny. I am um, have lost uh, the League Cup final to the eventual winners, the Scottish Cup to the eventual winners, and the League have finished runners-up to the winners. So, actually... I was second best in absolutely everything. Ah, oh dear. And there we go. So, let's have a little look at things. So, who score, who's top goal scorer? Ah, he was 19. Kevin Gallon and Motherwell. And there we go. Let's get the, um, the other stats just at the end. AC Milan win the European Cup, beaten Bayern Munich 4-2. Uh, no, Sergio, no. Uh, and it, it ended with them being satisfied with the overall performance, and we made a loss of 686,000. That's not a very good loss. Again, I won one, two, three, four, six months of manager of the month. Hibbs Miller got the manager of the month there. Um, <clears throat> so let's just have a little quick look at the, the end of it, because at the end you get the player of the years and everything like that, so we'll... We'll go on that, and then I'll then I'll go. Uh, I think I went. I think I tried to sign him. Um, so yeah, not not too bad season. I mean, you know, he wants. To, I'm glad because I'm going to get a new keeper anyway. Uh, and Ian Rush, well, he never even played this season. I don't think. I think I, I can't remember. No, but I'm going to. I'm actually. Well, no, it's that team again. Two occasions he's refused to go to that club. So, come on, let's get to the end of this um, campaign. That's good. See, the good thing is now I'm getting rid of all the players who weren't playing. And now what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll, I'll now go through all the transfer markets and uh, see what's going on. And I'm just waiting to come up to the end of the... Well, I'll save it. Uh, what you're looking for is this bit. <clears throat> okay, so European Football Year was a guy from Milan. See, so footballer's writer, footballer year was Neil Lennon and Dundee United. The PFA player year, uh, Hibs, PFA young player year. Uh, I didn't get manager of the year, which surprisingly, because I did get it the previous season. Um, but there we go. So, thank you very much for watching me play Championship Manager 2. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, although maybe it didn't sound that I've enjoyed it. Um, but I have, and I think I've kind of lost my voice a little bit, but um, yeah, that's Championship Manager 2. Thank you very much for watching, and Midnight Gamer. Bye-bye.